Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 21 SWTF. Chapter 501. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hang Seng said, and then spoke out about the welfare issues that were discussed in the meeting just now. As soon as these words came out, some Marines were suddenly moved. What did they join Marine for? Not to have a good future for their wives and children in the future. I do what I say. These are just your basic wages, and you will fight against others in the future. If you die, you will also have death compensation. This compensation allows your wife and children to live carefree. Adult. Of course, if you don't want to be separated from your wives, you can also take them to live with us. We will arrange all their work here, and not only that, but also get paid. Hang Seng talked out the system and salary of the previous world, and the Marine in the flickering was stunned for a while, and some young Marines were immediately moved. As what you said true, it's really not a pirate, is it not doing robbery or anything? Another Marine said. I will do what I say, and in the future, you can join in and supervise me. Okay, I'll join, a young Marine suddenly said. Guys, what are you doing? How can you betray Marine? Betray Marshal Sengoku, one Marine shouted anxiously. The boy named Guys, after a moment of silence, said in a low voice, one of the reasons first joined Marine is to have enough food and not to be hungry, and the other is to become stronger and keep my village out of the hands of pirates. The most important thing is let my mother and brother have a good future in the future. Have joined Marine for three years. In addition to training and patrolling, he is still a low-level sailor. Marine didn't pay me any wages, even if we die in battle for Marines like us. Marine will at most write my name in the Garden of Martyrs, and what else? There will be none. Although my brother and mother have such a halo of Marine Martyrs in the future, his life will not change at all. Even if I have a body, they will use their savings to buy me a coffin in the future. This is what I don't want to see. Master Hengsing just said it. They won't be doing pirates in the future. Can you believe what the pirates say? A Marine retorted. Advertisement. Believe it or not, I'll see it with my own eyes. If they keep doing the pirate business, I'll come back. If they really don't do it in the future. A month's salary of 30,000 baileys. Stay here and take care of food and housekeeping. I can send all the money to my family and let my mother and brother improve their lives. If you die, at least it will leave them too with a huge savings. That way I am satisfied. Guys, you. The Marine opened his mouth at first, but nothing came out. People have different choices, so when guys chooses to join, he naturally won't say much. With a breakthrough, Hengsing was naturally overjoyed, one had two, and then as long as he fooled around, these Marines would still be able to catch them. Just now I only talked about the benefits of all recruits in our pirates. Now, let's talk about the Marines you believe in. You also know that it has been three days since the Battle of Berenholt, and the Marshal Marine, whom you believe in, has never called me and has no intention of redeeming you. What does this show? It shows that you have been abandoned by Marine Sengoku. Impossible. Marshal Sengoku won't let us go. A Marine shouted loudly, but the panic in his eyes was hard to hide. Taking out the phone bug, the corners of Hengsing's mouth twitched slightly. Ah, Sengoku. Did you just remember them? If Sengoku really thought about you, he would have called me to redeem people on the first day of defeat, not now. Understood. Boss. Bullet finished and left excitedly. Of course, you, take this brother to wash up, and then show him a tour of our island. He will be his own brother from now on. Hengsing pointed to a pirate next to him. Understood. Boss Hengsing. Advertisement. Yes, yes, Captain Hengsing. Guys panicked. Those marines who were pierced by plain words like knives and needles were pale, and their bodies were in great pain. Even those marines who believed in marines had a hint of hesitation in their eyes, and their beliefs began to collapse. These captives are all elites in the marines, and their average strength is a bit more powerful than the ordinary pirates of his own pirate group, so he can't help but be unhappy. Unexpectedly, in this way, we have added 40,000 elites out of thin air, and when the time comes to fight the world government, we will have some confidence. Okay, trouble. Hengsing smiled. This guy. After Hengsing finished speaking, he led the crowd to turn around and leave. Disperse the large team. Hengsing leaves behind people who can think with their brains, and sends them directly to the bullets to go out on patrol. By the way, set them up, tell them we're working on the rules now, and I'll be sure to meet them when they're done. Really, Guy's eyes lit up, and his sadness instantly dissipated. A day later, Bullet walked in and said excitedly, Boss Hengsing. Those Marines have really joined our pirate team. Just then, a phone bug rang out. If you don't join, I'm sorry. There are too many of you. Our pirate group doesn't support idlers. I will sell you to a slave organization in exchange for some money. I'll give you one day to think about it. After a day, if you join our pirate group, then we will be brothers in the future. With me, I will never miss a bite of your food. We still have something to do, so let's go first. If anyone figures it out during the day, just call the guards outside. They will help you arrange everything. Advertisement. The 40,000 Marine captives and the captured Marine Vice Admiral, what are you going to do to let them back? After speaking, Hengsing turned to look at the boy beside him and said, Your name is Guys, right? Leaving Marines with flickering expressions and hesitant expressions on their faces. Okay, Mondor nodded. Don't say I'm indifferent, blame me. Blame you Marine Sengoku, he didn't call me to redeem you. Back in the room, Hengsing, Smile, Dragon, Mondor, started making your own rules. Don't believe it, but do you really believe it in your heart? If Sengoku calls me, I will naturally put you back, you must know that you people have consumed a lot of food for our pirate group in the three days you stayed here. Take it easy, it will be your own family in the future, you will change your clothes after you go out later, and I will pay you this month's salary in advance. Along the way, he was in a good mood, he knew that it would not be used, it would not take long for these prisoners to automatically join their pirate group. Gollum, 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 shaking his head, he turned on the phone bug, and joked, I'm Hengsing. Does Marshal Sengoku have anything to do with me? We continue, strive to establish the order of our pirate group within two days. They are now like a victory of the revolution, everything has to be reenacted, clothes, emblems, doctrine, it's very troublesome. Chapter 502, previous chapter, next chapter, advertisement. Let them go back, do you think it's possible? We're two factions now, not to mention the ordinary marines, it's the senior generals. Are you putting them back and giving your marines more power out of thin air? I can't get it, wouldn't it be better to kill them? Ten billion baileys, let them back, you're sending the beggars, he curled his lips, Hengsing said disdainfully, you don't have to think about it. I plan to subdue these people, but if I can't subdue them, I will just kill them. We are destined to be opponents, and I won't give you any chance to increase your combat power. After that, just hung up the phone. Continue the discussion, be quick. Dot 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 dot. Marine office. Sengoku watched the phone bug return to its original state, his face was silent for a while. 
You heard Suru. I heard. His ambition is really more than that. It seems that his purpose is really to overthrow the rule of the world government. Then what do you mean? Hengsing's strength has now surpassed our marine. All conspiracies are paper tigers in the face of absolute strength. Hand them over to the five elders. Didn't they say they don't need us to care about this? Alas, it's just a pity that Mamasugi and the others are vice admiral. Sengoku sighed, his eyes reddened. Have you found a dual venue for Aokiji and Akainu? I found it, preliminary on the Grand Line, an isolated island near Alabasta. Then let them compete. The chaos on the sea, I'm really overwhelmed. Sengoku covered his forehead. It is good. Time is like flowing water. Three days pass quietly in the blink of an eye. In three days, a news came out from Marine, and there was a lot of uproar on the sea. Marshal Marine Sengoku resigned as Marshal and was created between Aokiji and Akainu, who fought against each other on Daihard Island near Alabasta. Whoever wins is the new Marshal Marine. Advertisement. For a time, the aftermath of the original Hengsing Pirate's victory over Marine has not yet fallen, and the battle between Aokiji and Akainu once again added a fire to this aftermath. At the same time, Hengsing and others finally sorted everything out. Huh, it's finally done. After writing, Hengsing let out a long sigh of relief. Yes, it's hard to agree with a smile. Everyone present is a little tired, only one person is in good spirits, that is the dragon. His eyes flew back and forth on the paper, how do you think that Captain Hengsing has such high ideals? Compared with you, the thinking of our revolutionary army is far behind. Okay, don't talk nonsense, since we've done it, let's try to finish it today. Find someone to print it, and then send it to all areas of our pirate group. Let them implement it seriously. By the way, pay this month's salary in advance, it's a celebration. In this case, at least two billion baileys. F.A., we are not short of money. Every year, the cooperative transactions from Tezolo can support the military expenses of our pirate group for one year. Okay, nodding with a smile, let's go, let's go meet the 40,000 brothers now, let them go to their hearts today. After speaking, he smiled and waited for the others to go out first. Captain, Katakori whispered as soon as he came out. When did you come back? Yesterday, what a harvest. 38.7 billion baileys. A lot, let's go, come meet our 40,000 brothers with me. Katakori nods. After a while, a few people came to the largest square on the island of Wangwo, where a lineup of 40,000 marines stood neatly here, as if they had already received a notice. Brothers, I'm sorry, we've been formulating the laws of our pirate group these days. Don't talk about it, since you choose to join, you will be your own brothers from now on. For the sincerity of what I said, today, everyone in the pirates will be paid today. Advertisement. Hearing this, the eyes of all the returning marines burst into excitement. They didn't expect Hengsing to be so generous and value them so much. The last trace in their hearts towards marine was shattered. Hengsing was very satisfied with these marines' eyes, and after a pause, he said again, the new rules and regulations are being printed, and they will be sent to various places in the new world soon. After speaking, Hengsing waved his hand, and the huge box that had been prepared beside it was opened from the inside, revealing the white bills inside. The face value was 10,000 10,000. Although Marine below tried to keep his face calm, the joy in his eyes could not be concealed. By the time everyone on the island is paid out, it will be completely dark. Now, to welcome the arrival of the 40,000 brothers. A banquet tonight, eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want, Hengsing shouted again. This sound ignited the emotions of the whole island and cheered. Long live the Hengsing boss. Long live the Hengsing boss. Dot 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 dot. The next day, Hengsing woke up from his deep sleep when a fish maw white appeared in the sky. After a casual bite, Katakori came from afar. What's wrong? The new rules and regulations have been published, and all of them have been sent to various countries in the new world, as well as within our sphere of influence. There are some people who resist, Katakori whispered. It's our own people, or the king of the country. My own. Troubled times use heavy codes, not to mention the hearts of 40,000 marines who have just been captured. Don't let them down. He pondered and frowned, let's warn them first. If you don't agree, you will be expelled from our pirate group. Clear. Katakori nodded, paused and said, there's one more thing. It's about the battle between Akainu and Aokiji. They, have you set a time? Today, today, so fast, Hengsing was a little surprised. Aokiji will lose, wait for the result, try to recruit him when he comes out. Advertisement. No, then we now, reform, let Long's revolutionary army and our pirates step up reforms. After everything is done, it's time for a decisive battle with the world government. Then where Aokiji, dot are we going to send someone to see it? No, just pay attention, let's get our side done first. One more thing, what, the ten generals of marine? Let's just lock it up like that, they won't join us, senior generals belong to the top marines. Be firm, give them something to eat every day, and make sure they don't starve to death. It is good, after Katakori finished speaking, he turned and hurried away. Marine, world government, I think it won't be long before all this ends. Hengsing's mouth twitched, sneering. As Hengsing et al. make drastic reforms, all the people at sea turn their attention to Diehard Island. On Aokiji and Akainu. After all, Marine's next marshal will spawn from both. At this time, the two stood on the island and looked at each other, neither of them said a word, because they both knew their personalities very well. It is useless to talk about those nonsense, you can only see the real trick in your hands. Akainu is also talking nonsense, the lava rolls, the figure flashes, and the huge lava giant fist with the rolling lava appears in front of Aokiji. Call, he let out a long breath of cold air, waved his right hand, and when the cold air gathered, a long ice sword appeared in Aokiji's hand. The armed eruption, the sword energy is vertical and horizontal, and the icy long sword instantly collides with the giant lava fist. The ice raged, the lava sprayed, and the two fought fiercely together in an instant. Chapter 503. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Around the island, Weasel and others watched with serious expressions, admiral-level battles were rare, and there were many benefits for their elite vice-admiral. Not far away, reporters were holding videophone bugs, waving their pen and paper quickly, thinking about the best news about the battle of Marshall Marine in their minds. The cold air spreads, the lava rolls, and the momentum is so great that even the Weasel and others who are watching outside have no choice but to sigh. As expected of Admiral, the power is so powerful, and the strong pressure inside makes me a little scared. It's normal, after all, the two of them were called monsters when they were in school. We are human, how can we be compared with monsters? Huo Shaoshan said with a cigarette in his mouth, indifferent. While talking, keep your eyes on the island battle. It has to be said that the battle on the island can be described as a shattering of the earth. Akainu and Aokiji became crazy, and it didn't take long for the whole island to be covered with mirror-like cracks. I am afraid that in the next moment, the island will burst into pieces. Aokiji frowned, and in the next instant, the cold air filled the air, and the ice age erupted instantly. 
Not only the entire island was frozen, but even the surrounding sea area was frozen, and the two-person battle area instantly expanded by two or three times. But, the two of them are still fighting on that island. They don't go to other places. Without him, Marine is not far from the island. No matter who wins, the people outside may be their subordinates. If they lose a high-ranking general because of the fight between the two, even if they become marshals later, they will feel distressed for a long time. The appearance of the Ice Age made the battle between Aokiji and Akainu more intense, and no longer have to worry about the explosion of the island. Boom. The cold air and lava are intertwined, creating a beautiful picture of ice and fire on the island. The sun rose in the east and set in the west, and the day passed quietly in the blink of an eye. The two of them were like tireless beasts, fighting frantically for a day and a night. A day later, the two did not stop at all, and even decided to win. Day after day, seven days slipped by in the blink of an eye. Advertisement. As the seven days passed, the battle between the two finally slowed down a bit. When they fought, their chests were a little heaving, and it was obvious that the victory was about to be won. Seeing such a scene, the weasel and others watching took a long breath, thinking to themselves, it is finally over. Admiral's physical strength is really not covered. At first, they watched with great interest, but as time passed, there was a little numbness, not only they were excited before the reporters who were videotaping disappeared. Anyone who watches seven days and seven nights will be bored, and they will be worthy of them if they don't go directly. Hum. Suddenly, hot and cold air erupted on the island, blowing towards the weasel and others like a storm. Squinting, the weasel spirit was shocked, awakening. The winner is finally decided. I saw around the island, one side was surrounded by ice, the cold was pressing, and the other side was rolling lava, and the high temperature was enough to bake people into coke. One cold and one hot are two extremes, dividing the island into two worlds. The lava tumbled, and a giant lava dog ran out of the lava fire and rushed towards Aokiji. The cold air filled the air, and a huge ice phoenix roared, sprang from below, and rushed towards the lava dog. Zizi, the water and fire met, the mist filled the air, and in an instant there was a cloud and mist over the two of them, like a fairyland on earth. The next battle is really reaching its climax, weasel, etc. Watch carefully. Lava dragon, ice lion majesty, lava fist, frost arm. Dot 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 dot. The two called the tricks, and the use of elements made the weasel and others amazing. Time is like running water, three days passed quietly in the blink of an eye, and the battle between Aokiji and Akainu has come to an end. Advertisement. His clothes were tattered, his face was pale and tired, his chest heaved violently, and he was gasping for breath. It was obvious that he had run out of oil. Suddenly, Akainu stretched out his hand and grabbed it forward. As the lava rolled around, a huge arm of lava sprang out of Akainu's hand and grabbed Aokiji's left leg. Aokiji was not to be outdone, the ice condensed, and the chill was overwhelming, slamming into Akainu's chest. Where is he? Understood. I'll do it right now. Perospero was taken aback, and he left in a hurry. On the other hand, Aokiji's consciousness has become a little blurred after the blow. It's a pity, perhaps because of his many years of comrades, Akainu glanced at the unconscious Aokiji, turned around, and turned his head to look at the marine warship in the distance. Yes, Aokiji was defeated, but his prestige in marine is still very high, and his political philosophy is completely different from that of Akainu. Now that Akainu is in power, it is the best choice for him to leave. You lost, I'll be Marshal Marine from now on. Akainu looked at Aokiji indifferently. Resisting the pain from the cold, Akainu stood up step by step. This perseverance is indeed a representative figure in the Hawks. One more thing, Drake, one of the supernovas, wants to join our pirate group. I'm here mainly to ask the captain what you mean. This is normal, you don't have to look at me like that. After understanding their two personalities, the result will not be unexpected. Hengsing shook his head slightly as he said lazily. Aokiji is defeated, and Akainu is Marshal Marine. A drop of lava gradually gathers from his hand, as long as it falls on Aokiji's neck, Aokiji will surely die. I see, I'll send someone to watch. Treatment at Marine. Keep an eye on Aokiji and let me know when he leaves Marine. I'll go recruit him myself. Dot 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 dot. Perospero frowned and hesitated. Captain, you mean, Drake is from Marine. Advertisement. He will leave Marine. Is that possible, Captain? Perospero exclaimed. Where is Aokiji now? At the end of the strong arrow, both of them broke out the final blow. At this time, the two of them had no physical strength to evade, so they could only resist. Prosperous, they are very satisfied with your policy. Even the 40,000 Marines have gradually integrated into our pirate group. Island of Nations. At the same time, leave a famous ice and fire island near Alabasta for everyone. In the distance, seeing Akainu standing up, the weasel knew that the battle was over, and hurriedly rushed towards the two of Akainu with the medical staff who had already prepared to give them quick treatment. How about the pirates? Yes, but this man is different from those ordinary marines. He belongs to the marine general level and will not betray marine easily. He is a chess piece. Lion majesty who gave us a fatal blow at a critical moment. Let Bullet catch him and lock him up with those marines. Humph, Ming can't, it's Yin again. Hengsing snorted coldly, with disdain in his eyes. Staying not far from our sea area, the result was obvious, Aokiji's left leg was shattered by the giant lava fist. Perospero came from a distance, with admiration in his eyes, Captain, you are really amazing. The news just came that the battle between Aokiji and Akainu is over. Aokiji is defeated, and Akainu becomes Marine's new marshal. Akainu suffered a permanent internal injury to his abdomen. In front of a river, Hengsing leaned on the deck chair, holding a fishing rod, like a fishing old man. That's it, the ten-day fierce battle between Aokiji and Akainu is over. The island has ice on one side and lava on the other side. It is enduring for a long time, and there is an inexplicable balance in the strangeness. As a veteran Marine Admiral, Aokiji is also a marshal defeated. He grew up in Marine and is loyal to Marine. Perospero thinks it should be impossible. Chapter 504. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Looking at Perospero who is far away, Hengsing's eyes are burning. Quick, quick, it won't be long before this is over. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye, a week has passed quietly. New world, in a lively town. A burly, dark-faced young man, wearing black sunglasses and a blue shirt, walked down the street with an expressionless face. Suddenly, his footsteps stopped, his eyes narrowed slightly, and a young man across from him was holding a wine glass and looked at him with a smile, and even waved his hand directly, as if he had been a good friend for many years. The young man returned to normal in an instant, and he was not polite. He walked to the opposite side of the young man carelessly, picked up the wine glass next to him, and drank it. Who? it's really good wine, the lips and teeth are fragrant, and the wine is mellow, much better than ordinary sake. The young man's face turned slightly red, and he took a long breath. Aren't you surprised to see me? Hengsing said, pouring another glass for Aokiji, speaking flatly. A bit, as expected, after all. Anyway, New World is your territory, and as the host, I'm not at all shocked to know that I'm here. Picking up the wine cup, Aokiji gulps it down again. 
Looks like you haven't come out of the shadow of defeat, Hang Seng said with a smile, watching Aokiji drink two drinks in a row. No, I don't really care about the position of Marshal Marine, but, Akainu's idea will bring Marine to the point of destruction, it doesn't matter if it is radical. But, radical has no humanity, even civilians are not spared in order to complete the task, what is the difference between this Marine and a pirate? Aokiji said in dissatisfaction. Extreme justice, yeah, it's too extreme, that's right. Advertisement, when are you going to attack Marine? Aokiji changed the subject. How do you see it? Hang Seng was very interested. Akainu became Marshal, first resigned from Marine, Marshal Sengoku and Gark Vice Admiral took a back seat, Marine Vice Admiral was cut in half after the Battle of Baronhalt. Marine's high-end combat power is unprecedentedly empty, an ambitious person like you will not miss this opportunity. Aokiji groaned. Clap clap clap, patting his hands, Hang Seng exclaimed, as expected of Marine Admiral. The analysis is in place. It won't be long before I attack Naval Headquarters, to tell the truth, without caring about Aokiji's original identity. Aokiji looked surprised, you just said it, don't be afraid I'll tell Marine. It's useless, you Marines are all times and are not my opponents, let alone now. What can I say? In the face of absolute strength, all conspiracies are useless. Hang Seng shook his head and smiled. It is an indisputable fact that Aokiji is silent and his words are not rude. You're waiting for me here, wouldn't it be as simple as asking me for a drink? After a moment of silence, Aokiji said again. Of course not, I'm here, I believe you have already guessed it. Do you want me to join your pirate group? No, it's not the pirates, it's the new government. New government, Aokiji wondered, it's just a name change, don't worry so much. New government, world government, your purpose really is to overthrow the world government. Aokiji looked at Hang Seng deeply. You guessed it, advertisement. I had this guess before, but, now that I hear the name, I know my guess was correct. Aokiji nodded. Is it true? Holding the paper in his hand, Aokiji's eyes were filled with hope. I'm overthinking it, Aokiji nodded. The entire new world and even the entire sea will boil, and the bottom line will be drawn, the bottom line will be drawn. Salary, wife and children, death pension, and physical health check. If it doesn't sound good, it's better to pay directly to your subordinates. I came out of Marine because Marine shackled my freedom. I'm lazy by nature, and I wouldn't even have competed with Akainu for Marshal if it wasn't for Marshal Sengoku's recommendation. Unconsciously, an hour passed quietly, Aokiji didn't finish reading the last picture, raised his head, and stared at Hengseng with a pair of eyes. If the world government sees it, it will definitely jump up and yell and be very nervous. I am afraid that once it is released, the whole sea will become turbulent. Turning over the paper on the table, he glanced at ten lines, first looking at Hengseng in surprise, then plunged his head into it, and as he looked deeper, the surprise in Aokiji's eyes turned into shock, and even the expression on his face began to shake. Really, our pirate team has already put it into use. That's right, Marines 40,000 captives have successfully joined our pirate team, and, very happy. This kind of method, let alone 40,000 Marines will submit, even if it is doubled, they will still submit. This piece of paper is simply a bomb, a bomb to destroy the world government. Especially in the future, there will be a series of preferential policies for dispatching pirate doctors to visit various villages on a regular basis. Aokiji believes that these regulations of Hengseng will be released at a press conference in the future. Joined, it's not public, soon our pirates will hold a press conference and announce it together. Seeing this, Aokiji's determination to refuse to join the Hengseng pirates unknowingly shakes. Aokiji looked at Hengseng with a complicated expression. He now finally understands why Long would be willing to leave the revolutionary army he had worked hard for many years to join the Hengseng pirates. I wrote it with Long and the others. Advertisement. This is, Aokiji frowned, but, so what, Hengseng smiled indifferently. I finally got out of the cage, and I haven't experienced the joy of freedom. How can I join another cage again? It doesn't matter, my purpose, some wise people can see it, not to mention the distance, it is your Marine Chief Staff Officer, Crane Vice Admiral's high IQ must have guessed it. On this piece of paper, Hengseng has taken care of his ordinary soldiers to a full extent. Look at it, and then, if I harm you, do I still need any conspiracy? The purpose of the two is the same, but, Hengseng's thought is many times higher than the thought of Long's revolutionary army. Look at this and think about it, Hengseng tore the space and stretched out his arm, and took out a few pieces of paper, these are nothing else, they are the rules and regulations that he and Long and others have worked hard to formulate for three days, as well as the rules. As a Marine Admiral, you have stepped up from the bottom of Marine, and you naturally know what ordinary Marines want. Aokiji was silent again, what Hengseng wrote on the paper was not bad, it was very good, the subsidy for his subordinates had already reached every aspect, not to mention those Marines, the various regulations on it, some even made him a little moved. And everyone is equal, and everyone should not have privileges. After a while, with a sigh, you wrote all this. So, what do you mean? Holding the glass, Hengseng took a sip and looked at Aokiji with burning eyes. Some join Marine to feed themselves, and some are for their own villages, but they all have one unifying characteristic, they are for their own wife and children, and have a good future. Dare to believe, Revolutionary Army Dragon, they have already joined your pirate group. As expected, Hengseng smiled slightly, if it were me, I wouldn't join the opposing faction just after leaving Marine. Dragon, Aokiji grabbed a key word and shook his body. Chapter 505, Previous Chapter, Next Chapter, Advertisement. Give me three days, after three days no matter what, I will give you an answer. Aokiji said complicatedly. Yes, my headquarters is in Wangwo. If you figure it out, come to Wangwo to find me. Ro, next, the two continued to eat. As for the pirates, they didn't say a word, they only talked about the scenery of eight trigrams. The host and guests enjoyed themselves, and Aokiji left. Hengseng looked at Aokiji in the distance with a smile on his lips. From Aokiji's hesitation, he knew that Aokiji had promised to join their pirates. The reason why he didn't agree is that he couldn't pass his own test, and he couldn't pass the hurdle the Marine raised him from childhood to adulthood. Captain, look at your smile, good harvest, Perospero stepped forward and smiled. 9 and 10, Aokiji can't escape, congratulations to the captain, in this way, our pirate group has another big battle. Wanokuni, how's the Chishou 9 heroes? A Zhang has gone, but, it's not very hopeful, Perospero shook his head. Don't worry, after they really see our sincerity, it's the same whether we join or not, as long as we don't rebel. Hengseng shook his head indifferently. Let's go, go back to Wangwo and prepare for the next press conference. It is good, dot 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 dot. Three days passed in a flash, on a sea area. The cannons roared, and the smoke filled the air. Two pirate ships are fighting like crazy. To be precise, a pirate ship is frantically attacking another pirate ship, while the other pirate ship is watching calmly. Damn it guy, knowing that the new world is our territory, dare to provoke us. Where did this lunatic come from? Garrett stood on the plywood with an ugly face. 
Advertisement. Sir Garrett, I know that person. He is one of the new Marine Shichibukai, known as Whitebeard too. He is very powerful. He killed Teacher Zephyr and a crew of a boat and chopped off Teacher Zephyr's arm more than ten years ago. The name Marine, not now a pirate, said solemnly. So strong. Garrett's pale face showed a hint of confusion, and then became serious. Call for support. Let the headquarters send someone over quickly. Yes, Jaset nodded. After a while, he came out in a hurry, and said in a low voice, I have already called for help. The nearby boss Jin is rushing to support, and the headquarters has also filmed the two adults, Bullet and Katakori. However, it will take some time for a few adults to come over, and even the nearest Lord Jin will take half an hour to come over. Half an hour. Retreat first. Garrett, who knew about Whitebeard II's information, did not hesitate. Just kidding. The person who could defeat Zephyr Admiral more than ten years ago, even if he shot it himself, was just a food delivery. I am afraid that Brother Katakori himself will be a little tricky. Retreat is the best outcome. What a pity. Just as they were retreating, a sharp sword energy came out from the pirate ship on the opposite side. Garrett's face wrinkled. Armament hockey erupted in an instant, her bright high feet lifted up, and with a burst of air, she fiercely faced the opposite sword energy. Boom. A metal crash sounded. Garrett fell from the air. The sword energy on the opposite side dissipated without a shadow at the same time. Tick tock. Tick tock. A trace of blood flowed out from the white heel. Get out. I'm not his opponent. Garrett shouted anxiously. My lord, it's already retreating. Don't worry. Jacette came up and worried. It's all right. Garrett waved her hand carefully, her bright eyes staring straight at the tall figure holding a Naginata. On the shoulders of that figure, there is an ugly old woman. Son, kill her, kill her, and we can find your father's property. Miss Ba Jin looked at Garrett's face, and instigated her with a fierce look on her face. Got my mom, I'll kill her. Wavel nodded naively, holding a Naginata, and his figure jumped up. Shoot, shoot, Garrett yelled, advertisement. With a wave of both hands, a rope made of butter is wrapped around Wavel. Bang bang bang, there was a sound of gunshots, hitting Wavel fiercely, but it had no effect. The bullet fell on him, as if it hit an iron wall and fell directly. A terrible physique, Garrett's bright eyes shrank for a while, and her face became unsightly. Wow, the butter rope entangled Wavel fiercely, causing Wavel to fall on the plywood, and the steel plywood sags directly. Looking at Wavel in front of him, looking at the butter rope wrapped around him, Garrett's pale face showed a hint of ruddy. Just as he was about to speak, he saw Wavel's face flushed, his whole body bulging, and his forehead was even more bruised. The terrifying force is like a volcanic eruption. The butter rope on his body was directly broken by the shock, torn apart, and burst open. Sure enough, Garrett turned her head and shouted with unwillingness on her fair face, everyone jumped into the sea to escape on their own, I'll break it. Want to run? Did you ask us? Wavel killed them, kill the capable women first. All pretty women should be damned, Miss Ba Jin said with a look of resentment. Garrett can clearly feel that because of the captain's order, her crew really loves her and loves their cadres. That's right, captain, I think you should hurry up. Let's hold him. How can a group of big men let a woman break off? Another pirate also said. This should be the camaraderie the captain talked about when he was chatting before. Got it, mom. Metal crashed with sparks flashing. Garrett's heart was moved by the joking words, which were completely absent on previous pirate ships. With a flash of sword light, the butter barrier in front of him exploded directly, slashing at Garrett's black iron fist. Like a white light, it appeared in front of Garrett in the blink of an eye. Wavel nodded softly, his figure flashed, turning into an afterimage and appearing beside Garrett, with a wave of the Naginata, the terrifying Naginata ripped through the air. The two fought so fast that the pirate members next to them were too late to support. Advertisement. This was the thought in Garrett's heart. With a wave of her hand, a buttery barrier appeared in front of her. Armed eruptions erupted, and her thin fist slammed into the front of the Naginata. I'll let you go, can't you hear me? Don't you think I'm the captain of this ship? This kind of feeling, very good, she likes it very much, even in the BIGMOM pirates, this kind of feeling only appears in those brothers and sisters who care about her. At this time, the Garrett was in midair, and there was no place for him to borrow strength. In addition, he was slashed by Wavel's huge force. Puff, hurry up. In the past, she would never have said such righteous words when faced with such a great enemy, but now it is different. Wavel followed him in a flash, not giving Garrett a chance to return the phone. To be able to defeat Zephyr, her strength is not something she can deal with at all, even if she delays, she can't delay for half an hour. Of course I admit it, but you have to know, we are very easy to find in the pirate group, but it is not easy to find a senior cadre like you. Therefore, you should listen to us and leave quickly. Gia Carter looked serious. Suddenly, Garrett felt like she bumped into something thick, and at the same time she closed her eyes and quickly opened her eyes to see Wavel turned into an ice sculpture at a glance. The bright big eyes wandered back and forth, blinked and blinked to make sure that he was not dreaming, and after regaining his senses, his pupils shrank for a while, this is. Boom, and these crew members in front of Wavel are just bigger ants, and they don't care at all. I can only watch my captain die. With the sound of bone shattering, Garrett flew upside down. He could only watch the Naginata falling from the sky, his eyes were even more desperate, and he closed it quietly. They are careful and cohesive in their work, and they occasionally joke with themselves. They are not as restrained as they used to be, and they are not like the relationship between superiors and subordinates. They are more like friends. Captain, do you think we are the kind of little people who leave you alone and run away? Jacket laughed. Captain Garrett, Jacket yelled, suddenly appearing above Garrett's figure, the Naginata swung fiercely at Garrett. Hurry up, boom, chapter 506, previous chapter, next chapter. Advertisement, former Marine Admiral, Aokiji, phew, breathing out a breath of cold air, Aokiji sighed, Whitebeard too. Speaking of which, Teacher Zephyr's death also has a share with him. Aokiji, why are you here? Garrett looked surprised when she regained her senses. Well, don't be so serious, in the future we will be colleagues. Lazily finished. Click, in the sky above, the ice that had frozen Wavel showed a slight crack, and then burst open. Wavel fell from above, colleague, do you want to join our pirate group? I don't pay much attention to Wavel Garrett in the upper half of the sky. With Aokiji around, their pirate group is now safe. Well, the system he showed me is very good, and I am very moved. Of course, this is the real policy of benefiting the people. The space vortex appeared, and Hengseng walked out with a smile. You're here, Aokiji said, Captain, shame on you, Garrett apologized. No, Whitebeard too, this kind of person is really not something you can deal with. Not only that, I am very satisfied with your performance. Hengseng smiled slightly. Captain, you've been here long ago. Garrett was stunned at first, then shocked. To know that the world is not far from here, the pirate ship will take at least an hour. It took no more than three minutes since he called for support, and within three minutes the captain had arrived. This strength, this speed is really unmatched. Not long after I arrived, I saw the scene of Aokiji's hero saving beauty. 
Han glanced back and forth between Aokiji and Garrett, and said, Advertisement. Aokiji's eyes were nothing, but Garrett's face became a little flushed. Hang Seng's eyes narrowed. There was drama. It seems that he will find a chance to be alone in the future. Yes, it's Hang Seng. Aokiji. Son, go, go, Miss Ba Jin said with rage. Godmother, said Wavel in a humming voice, and was about to leave. As soon as he moved, the cold air filled the air, and the ice as bright as a mirror directly froze his legs. With a wave of Hang Seng's palm, a thick rhizome came out from his hand, like a vine, and wrapped around Wavel's whole body with incomparable tenacity. There are various suctions on the rhizomes, quickly absorbing Wavel's physical strength like a black hole. Seeing this, Wavell's whole body burst into blue veins, his muscles nodded, and he once again used the explosive power of his whole body, as if breaking free from the restraint of Garrett's butter, he was shocked. Of course, Hang Seng's branches, roots and stems are not comparable to Garrett's restraint, not only has the ability to absorb other people's physical strength, but also has unparalleled tenacity. It's just a waste of effort. Wavell, quickly break free, break free, Miss Bajan roared frantically on his shoulders. Mom, I feel like my strength is disappearing, and my body is so tired. So tired, Wavell said naively, his eyes half closed as he spoke. Damn it, Hang Seng, what did you do to my son? It's nothing, just let him sleep. After speaking flatly, he paused and said coldly, but, as far as I know, Wavell is not Whitebeard's son, right? When Wavell first became Shichibukai, Margo asked Whitebeard, and Whitebeard himself admitted that he had no descendants with him. Humph, you don't have to worry about this matter, Miss Ba Jin quibble. Three minutes later, as Wavell fell to the ground, the battle was over. This ability to absorb human energy is not easy to use in general. Aokiji sighed. It's okay, Hang Seng couldn't deny it, Captain, what about these two? Wavell is just a fool, the reason why he is instructing Miss Ba Jin, the messenger of the whole sea. Advertisement. Kill Miss Ba Jin. Take Wavell back first. Let's see if this idiot can be subdued in the future. Hang Seng touched his chin and pondered. It is good. Garrett waved her hand, and Jakot came over immediately behind her, looking at Aokiji with surprise in her eyes. I have seen Captain Hang Seng. Boss Garrett, Aokiji Admiral. The original Marine. Yes, Aokiji Admiral. I'm not Admiral anymore. Call me Captain or Boss from now on. Aokiji waved his hand. Yes, Boss Aokiji. After Jack had finished speaking, she dragged Miss Bajin and walked into the distance. After a while, he walked up to Garrett. Boss Garrett, the mission has been completed. Return. Garrett said coldly. Yes, on the deck, Hang Seng and Aokiji sat on deck chairs, basking in the sun. Think clearly. Well, otherwise I wouldn't have come to you. Okay, welcome. Join our pirate team, Aokiji. Hang Seng stood up suddenly and extended his hand to Aokiji. Honored, I hope you can execute as written above. Aokiji stretched out his hand to be with Hang Seng's master, and said flatly. Rest assured, Garrett's heart was fluctuating and she was shocked, so she joined in. It's too fast. Roar. The loud dragon's roar sounded, and a figure in the distance, braving a scorching flame, rushed towards here quickly. After returning to its original shape and falling to the floor, Jin saw a hint of surprise and surprise in Hang Seng and Aokiji's eyes. Advertisement. Boss Hang Seng, it was you who did it. Ha ha ha, sorry, I forgot to call you and let you know. Hang Seng laughed. I won't introduce this person. You should know very well that he will be a member of our pirates. Pulling Aokiji, Hang Seng said with a smile. Aokiji Admiral, long time admiration, fire embers, same. The next time was calm, and this was the domain of Hang Seng's pirate group, so naturally it wouldn't be as short-sighted as Wable. Back in the world, Hang Seng introduced Aokiji to everyone, and because of the addition of Aokiji and the dragon, they held a grand banquet for them. Three days later, all nations, huge merchant ships appeared here. On the merchant ship, a famous reporter took a video phone, a video camera, and a pen and paper. Under the leadership of Morgans, he came to a vast arena. Around, the officers of the pirate regiment glanced at the surroundings with a serious look, and the entire Cake Island fell into a state of first-level security. In the light and in the dark, everyone's expressions are tense. Today's event is not an ordinary trivial matter. It may stir up a major event in the whole sea. They can't be careful. Of course, this time is not in the form of live broadcast. After all, Hang Seng and the world government are already proper enemies. Even if Morgans wants to buy the right to live broadcast, five elders will not agree. God knows what Hang Seng will say at the press conference. Other places will not broadcast live broadcasts, but all places in New World will broadcast live broadcasts. After all, the world is already the domain of Hang Seng, and everything is under the jurisdiction of Hang Seng. The sun rises high and sprinkles thousands of silk ribbons, bringing a touch of warmth to people. Hang Seng took a step, walked onto the ring, looked at the crowd of reporters below and smiled. Everyone, welcome to the press conference of our pirate group. If you have any questions, please ask directly, I will definitely know everything and say everything. Captain Hang Seng, after becoming the ruler of the New World, will you stay in your domain, recuperate, or continue to expand your territory? Turn the entire sea into your domain, a young reporter asked boldly. As soon as this question came out, all the reporters were slightly taken aback, this kid dares to ask anything. It's really a newborn calf who is not afraid of tigers. But, they like it, and being a reporter is like this kind of explosive content, staring at Hang Seng like a wolf like a wolf, hoping he can give an answer. Chapter 507. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Of course, the pause after that stifled the reporter's appetite. I won't answer this question first, you will know later. Alas, all the reporters let out a sigh of frustration. Mr. Hang Seng, you are now the emperor of the new world. How are you going to manage your realm? This question, like the previous question, will naturally be announced later. Mr. Hang Seng, since the Battle of Baronhold Island, your pirate group can be said to be the strongest pirate group in the sea. Are you going to incorporate Marine? Hang Seng shook his head slightly, it seems that you all have been paying attention to the relationship between our pirate group and the world government and Marine. It's okay, now I will tell you all about our pirate group's rules and regulations and future directions. Saying that, regardless of everyone's expressions, he picked up the paper that had been prepared and announced. From today, our pirates are officially named the new government. That's right, it's the new government. The military rank of the new government follows exactly the rank of Marine, and I will be the marshal of the new government. Four lieutenants under the marshal, Red Earl Redfield, Whitebeard Newgate, Kaido of the Beasts, and Revolutionary Dragons. What, I must have heard it wrong. Letterfield, Whitebeard, Kaido and the Revolutionary Dragon. I'm not dreaming. When did Hang Seng and the others also incorporate dragons? First of all, the name of the new government made their bodies extremely excited, and the four deputy marshals directly made them explode, and they couldn't help whispering. Advertisement. Not only the reporters here, but also the civilians watching the live broadcast in New World were shocked. One marshal, four deputy marshals, the top three all have four emperor's level combat power, let alone the revolutionary army dragon. 
With the addition of the Revolutionary Army Dragon, the Hengsing Pirates are more powerful than the new government, far more than one plus one, and the name of the new government makes everyone understand Hengsing's ambitions. This passage directly answers the question of the young reporter just now. Ignoring everyone's reaction, Hengsing continued, the following four deputy marshals are invited to appear. Hengsing stretched out his hand, led by Whitebeard, and the four came up from one side of the ring one after another. And these people are madly taking pictures with cameras. Remember the faces of the four. After the four stood up, Hengsing waved again and let the four leave. Ignoring everyone's reaction, he continued, there are six admiral people under the deputy marshal. Bamboo Swordsman Smile, Devil's Descendant Bullet, Aokiji Kuzan, Phoenix Marco, Head of General Star Katakori, Blazing Ash. These six are basically either Admiral's strength, or people who can draw against Admiral. Putting it together Hengsing is thoughtful. The next step is to start a war with the world government. The high-end combat power absolutely needs a position, so it is easy to provoke. Ignoring the public uproar, Hengsing continued to announce after a few people came to power. Vice Admiral is basically an elite cadre of the pirates, such as the others in Desert General, Whitebeard Pirates and Beast's Pirates. There are a lot of people, Hengsing didn't let them come up, and these people still have a lot of tasks today. Vice Admiral was followed by Rear Admiral, and after the encapsulation, Hengsing began to introduce the rules and regulations of their new government. For example, no robbery in the future, people-oriented, salary implementation, basically Hengsing moved the system from the previous world. Advertisement. But some don't. After all, too advanced will make people unacceptable. He intends to take it step by step. Every time you say something, people around an even new world will cause a stir. When the last sentence was finished, all the reporters were stunned by Hengsing's speech. Captain Hengsing, no Marshal Hengsing, what you said is true. A reporter returned to his senses and said loudly. Of course, I will do what I say. New world will get better and better in the future, and I will make the entire new world a peaceful home without pirates and wars. Marshal Hengsing, can you tell me what your marine salary means? Is it the same as ours? That's right, literally, the sea created today's chaotic era, and many people did it for Roger's dying words. But some people become pirates just to eat, not only pirates, but marines too. Others were exploited by nobles. If these people can be happy and healthy, without oppression, have food to eat every day, and be carefree, what kind of pirates are they? You know that pirates are on the brink of death every day. If you have food, drink, wife and children, only fools go to be pirates. Of course, there are some exceptions. They are people who want to be free, but these people are very few. Basically, they are what I said above. Therefore, I pay my subordinates salaries, one is to send them to their relatives to prove that they have a future. One is to not let their relatives worry about themselves. Hengsing's bland words made the disturbed reporters listen, and fell into deep thought, and even forgot to take pictures. Long live Marshal Hengsing. Suddenly, someone in the distant crowd shouted with a flushed face. This sentence was like a blasted river, and the others followed closely, and the sound was so loud that it resounded through the entire island of myriad nations. Gradually these words come together, shaking the sky, and a single spark can start a prairie fire. What a strong cohesion. I have been in marine for so many years, but I have never seen it. Not far away, Aokiji murmured complexly. Advertisement. He felt that following Hengsing, he really came to the right place. Very normal. The captain is extraordinary. I feel that he can really overthrow the world government and build the ideal empire in his mind. Beside her, Garrett whispered. This kind of cohesion, sure enough. It's right to follow Hengsing. Long let out a complicated sigh. It's not too late to join now. What are you sighing, Mr. Long? Sabo stepped forward and said with a smile. You don't understand. Long shook his head. His eyes were deep. Dot 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 dot. Maria Joy, five elders looked at the screen in front of him with a dignified expression. This guy must not stay here. Otherwise, he will be the biggest scourge of our world government, the sword-wielding old man said gloomily. This remark, it should be killed, the bearded old man said in a solemn tone. Kill, how to kill, just rely on the current marine, or send someone to attack. You don't know his strength. The five of us are not his opponents in a single fight. The blonde old man frowned. Let's not talk about this. The changed name of this guy has revealed his inner ambition. The new government, ha ha, the bearded old man sneered. Are you going to trouble Lord Yimu? The blonde old man's face was ugly. Even if we want to send troops to attack, Marine's high-end combat power is unprecedentedly empty at this time. You have all seen the high-end combat power of Hengsing's pirate group. It's enough to hang the entire Marine. The bearded old man pondered. What do you mean? The bearded old man asked. Hold the world competition and recruit soldiers. The top two will get the Marine Admiral position, and the third to twenty will get the Marine Vice Admiral quota. Said the bearded old man. As this, does it work? The blonde old man hesitated. Chapter 508. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. There is no way out. Otherwise, our Marine will be swallowed by Hengsing. Seconded. Seconded. The others nodded. What time is it? Said the sword-wielding old man. In a month, enough to get those people over there. Naval headquarters. Can. Agree. I'll call Akainu right now. Marine meeting room. Akainu Kazaru and the surviving Marine Vice Admiral gather together. You all saw Hengsing's remarks. This bunch of scoundrels, pirates who do all kinds of evil even want to subvert the world government, subvert Marine. And the new government. Damn it. Akainu was smoking a cigar, his eyes blazing with rage and anger. Especially Aokiji, this traitor. I knew this old man would never let him go. He actually joined Hengsing's pirate group. Everyone else was silent. The strength of the Hengsing pirates had just been revealed in front of the whole world. Now, the strength of their Marines, to put it in a bad way, to destroy Hengsing is just hitting the stone with an egg. So many high-end combat powers have indeed posed a threat to the world government. I am afraid that the five elders are already having a lot of headaches, and they are no longer able to intervene in this matter. Sakazuki, how about I sneak into the Hengsing pirates and bring back all the vice admiral he captured? Kazaru pondered. No, you don't know how strong Hengsing is, and we don't know where Hengsing keeps those vice admirals. Akainu shook his head gloomily. Although he was angry, he did not lose his mind. The reason why he was just like that was just a vent. What we marine needs most now is to increase our high-end combat power. Otherwise, once Hengsing and the others attack, then the consequences, Weasel suggested. Advertisement. As soon as this was mentioned, everyone became silent again. As Marshal Marine, Akainu also knew what was missing now, but how can high-end combat power be so easy to obtain? It is easy to cultivate. Didn't you see that Marshal Sengoku had been in the service for many years, but he was only a few high-end combatants? During the conversation, the phone worm started ringing in Akainu's waist. Hey, I'm Marine Akainu. That one, it's me Akainu, came the voice of the bearded old man on the phone. Akainu, the five of us have decided to increase your Marine's high-end combat power. The world conscription will be held at naval headquarters in a month. 
The top 20 will receive your Marine Admiral and Vice Admiral ranks. Impossible. How can those people reach the sky in one step? We also have many outstanding talents in Marine, so we can directly select them from Marine. I'm not discussing with you, but telling you. We have notified the news agency of this news, and I'm afraid it will spread throughout the sea soon. All you have to do now is to build a space for them to set them free. The ring to play. After the long-bearded old man finished speaking, he hung up the phone and left Akainu with an angry face. Damn it's old guy, what a lot of things. Akainu turned his head and said, you all know. This matter, Kazaru will leave it to you. Okay, no problem. Now that New World is occupied by Hengsing and others, he does not have to guard New World, so it can be said that he has nothing to do in naval headquarters. A day later, the world conscription news sent by the world government and the news content held by Hengsing were sold all over the world. In an instant, the whole sea suddenly became lively. When some ordinary people knew that Hengsing was not a pirate, their panic was relieved, and when they heard about Hengsing's speech, their faces turned with longing and anticipation. Hengsing has once again become the focus of the whole world, without him, the conditions he said are too good, and it is not an exaggeration to say it in his heart. Many people from all over the world want to go to sea and go to the New World to serve as a soldier for Hengsing. But just think about it, the four seas are too far away from the New World, and there are many dangers. People who don't have the strength to go out to sea are just looking for death. Advertisement. But the people of New World are different. They are in New World, which is Hengsing's area, so they can go directly to Hengsing headquarters by boat, the island of all countries. In just one night, the whole island of Hengsing was full of excited young people, and it was estimated that there were no less than one W people. And those reporters recorded this scene very well and published it in today's newspaper, by the way. No, Bray, how many people can fit in your space mirror? How many days of food? Asked with a smile. After everyone finished speaking, some crowded halls instantly became empty again. Marshall, up to one W people. No more, Bray whispered. Ten thousand. Too little. Hengsing frowned. It seems that I can only use mine. I originally wanted to cultivate for a year, completely annexing the entire new world, and then attacking Marine. But now, Hengsing squinted. Quietly order it. Yes, everyone together. It seemed that they could see their doubts. As long as we are there, those people will not dare to attack our sea area. These may be useful for those who are strong, and they are more attractive to ordinary people or Hengsing's welfare benefits. The people are too large, too dense, and there is no way to cover them up. And now that the eyes of the whole world are on our side, it is impossible to disappear silently. Long Chen said. And this news directly suppressed the news of Marine's conscription. The world government is conscripting troops, and everyone knows what they are fighting for. In the Royal Palace of Heaven, take a look, there are several small spaces, not to mention others, it is still possible to take 10 W people away. Three days, the world government will let you live for three more days. With a murmur, Hengsing had a trace of excitement and memory in his eyes. Then disband, everyone quietly informs the members, let them rest well, and leave tomorrow. Hengsing said indifferently. Advertisement. In the spacious room, Hengsing sat in the main seat, next to the densely packed high-rise. Captain, no, what does the marshal mean? Yi Xiao stepped forward and asked. Captain, what can you do? I W C. Then it won't take long, we now have a grain of food here. Yi smiled and said. Bring all the troops back directly to the Grand Line to attack the naval headquarters, and attack the naval headquarters by surprise, and directly attack the entire naval headquarters. Use this to unify the entire sea and overthrow the world government. That marshal, when are you going to do it? Jin said. Dot 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 dot. Is there enough food? Everyone together. Ten thousand a night, only a lot more in the future. Three days. One day to arrive there, one day to cultivate, and the third day to fight. Holding the newspaper in hand, Hengsing sneered, as this going to fight with us after replenishing the high-end combat power. Therefore, he took his own things and started to set off. For a while, under the lively and boiling sea, the waves were strange and the dark tide was surging. But there are also some people with ulterior motives who are eyeing the world's conscription, for them, this may be their only chance to get ahead. Well, you'll find out later, immediately, I can go back to my hometown. The whole world, the whole sea is talking about Hengsing's system. Chapter 509. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Early the next morning, a smear of fish ma white appeared on the horizon. In front of him, a figure stood neatly in the Wangwo area. The most important thing is to smile and wait for the cadres. With a wave of the right hand, two space vortex portals appeared in front of everyone. The one wearing the padded coat goes to the left, and the one who doesn't go to the right. Without any hesitation, everyone stepped inside. One of these two spaces is the ice space and the other is the sand space, and the other spaces are not loaded with people at all. These clothes were also announced to everyone with a smile last night. By the time the last person entered, three hours had passed. Rinnegan is activated, the space rotates for a while, and the other cadres are directly loaded into the Kamui space by Hengsing. Looking in the direction of Marineford, Hengsing disappeared into the sky as a black streamer. One day later, Hengsing appeared in front of Sabayati Archipelago through the Fishman Island. Free everyone for a day off on a huge deserted island in Sabayati Archipelago. In the early morning of the third day, Hengsing looked at the majestic military buildings in front of him, with a trace of indifference and excitement in his eyes. Starting today, the world will end. Naval headquarters is some distance away from the Red Line. According to Aokiji's mouth, it takes at least one hour for the world government to support, and one hour is enough to take naval headquarters down. Then sit and wait for the world government and others to come and send the heads. Advertisement. Feel free to release the two space vortexes in a hidden place, and Hengsing strode forward. Knowing that you will win, there is no need to hide. You are, Hengsing, Marine who was patrolling suddenly saw a figure walking towards here, after seeing the figure's appearance, his pupils shrank for a while, his face pale. After speaking, regardless of the people behind him, he ran straight into the distance, leaving behind the other Marines who were shivering. You go, tell Akainu, naval headquarters is ours from today on, let him surrender. Woohoo, just then, a loud siren blared throughout Marineford. Akainu, who was working, had a livid face and shouted, bastard, who the hell dares to sound the first level alarm? Marshal Akainu, it's Hengsing, Hengsing is here, the door was pushed open, and a Marine officer said pale. Hengsing, this bastard, how is that possible, shouldn't he be in New World? Akainu was stunned at first, then his face was extremely gloomy. Just him or all his pirates. As far as reporting to the soldiers, I see Hengsing alone. But, Marshal Akainu, don't forget, Hengsing also has mysterious space capabilities. I can't guarantee it, the officer said cautiously. What a disturbing good dream in the early morning. Really, Kazaru appeared at the outskirts of naval headquarters with a confused look, but he wanted to see who came to make trouble at naval headquarters. But when he opened his eyes, a smiling face appeared in front of him. 
Hang Seng. No, no, this guy is supposed to be in the new world. How could he come here? Kazaru subconsciously denied it, thinking he hadn't woken up yet. Carefully rubbed his eyes and felt the touch of his fingers, Kazaru's confused spirit instantly returned. Trouble, it's you, Hang Seng. Hang Seng chose this time to come, and he must have made all preparations. Naval headquarters may be completely captured by him today. Wake up, Hang Seng Nuyu smiled. Advertisement. See if you can't wake up. Kazaru surrender. Marine can't make it through. Well, you can't look at me, look at what Akainu means. Now Akainu is the boss of our Marine. During the conversation between the two, some Marines have already organized themselves and rushed here. Ha, huh, ha, huh, a few figures in midair were as fast as afterimages, and they fell beside Kazaru in an instant. These two are none other than retired Sengoku and Garp. Trouble, Marine is in danger this time, Sengoku said solemnly, looking at Hengseng with a smile on his face. Unexpectedly, it's too late for us to dispatch troops from all over the world. I hope he is the only one here. Garp lost his usual carefree personality and said with a serious expression. But, the three who know Hengseng's character all understand that Garp's words are just self-deception, especially the pirates with weapons in the far corner. No, new government personnel, this level is difficult. Moments later, Akainu led the hastily assembled Marine to Hengseng. Hengseng, what are you doing here at naval headquarters? Akainu gritted his teeth, angrily. What, you must have guessed it, right, after the new government is established, Marine doesn't need to exist. I originally wanted you Marines to survive in more worlds, but who asked you to publish the world conscription a few days ago? I had no choice but to do it now. You, Akainu pointed at Hengseng, his face flushed red and he was speechless. After a short pause, he said gloomily, as long as you leave, the marshal won't bother with you about coming here today. What, you really value your Marine's current combat power? Hengseng sneered disdainfully. With a wave of the right hand, ripples in the space appeared, and figures came out of it. Redfield, Whitebeard, Kaido, Dragon, Advertisement. With each silhouette, Akainu and the other's pupils shrank for a while, and when the last cadre came out, Akainu's face was extremely gloomy. Ah, uh, Sengoku sighed, his eyes were extremely complicated, Hengseng brought all the cadres and even the members of the Ten Thousand Kingdoms here. There is no doubt that they will lose this battle, and we can only hope that Lord Five Elders will send people to support them. But, is it possible, Marshal Marine for many years, he knew exactly when the naval headquarters arrived in Mariajoy, except for Kazaru, reinforcements would take at least an hour. An hour later, the day lilies were cold, which means the Marine was doomed this time. Marshal, don't delay, let's do it, before the world government personnel arrive, try to capture all these people. Yi Xiao stepped forward and whispered. This sentence completely shatters Sengoku's plan to delay time. Go on, Hang Seng waved, smile and wait for an instant shot. Kaido finds Sengoku, Whitebeard finds Akainu, Aokiji finds Kazaru, and Dragon finds other Vice Admiral. As for Garp, Ace looked excited and volunteered to appear in front of him. Master, your opponent is me, give it up, you can't win this battle. Garp's mouth twitched, you and Sengoku are among the best in battle, what do you mean by signing Ace to me? Do you look down on this old man? Do you look down on me, a marine hero? What do you mean, Hang Seng boy? Why did you give me the ace? Garp expressed his dissatisfaction with a snap of his nose. Sorry, old man, we need to quickly recover this place. We already have targets for high-end combat power. Ace is his spontaneous recommendation, and it has nothing to do with me. Hang Seng touched his chin and said with a smile. No high-end combat power. Your top combat power is twice that of our marines, and Vice Admiral's combat power is more, two-on-one, or even three-on-one, which is called no high-end combat power. Do I have no culture to bully the old man? Chapter 510. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Holy Land Maria Joy. The five elders hurriedly gathered together after hearing the call from Akainu, along with Marshal Kong. Kong, immediately gather the available personnel in the Holy Land and go to naval headquarters to support Marine, said the bearded old man. Kong frowned, a little puzzled, Lord Five Elders, what happened to naval headquarters? In such a hurry. Hengseng is already attacking naval headquarters with all the horses, and Akainu just called, let us quickly support. The bearded old man said solemnly. Understood, I'll go right now, Kong's expression changed, he nodded solemnly, and hurriedly walked outside. When he walked to the door, his footsteps stopped suddenly, and he said tangled, Lord Five Elders, you know. There are indeed many experts in the Holy Land, but... But, those celestial dragons don't kill him, call out. A golden token shot out, and Kong quickly caught it. The yellow-haired old man said solemnly, with this token, everyone will obey orders. Understood. After saying that, Kong strode away. What do we do now? The bearded old man asked. I can't support it anymore. Hang Seng chose the time too well. All the celestial dragons are asleep during this time. Even if they obey Kong's orders, it will take at least half an hour to assemble the troops. In addition to the time spent on the road, in an hour and a half, naval headquarters has already been captured by Hang Seng. The sword-wielding old man pondered. Advertisement. Then we will watch naval headquarters be captured and remain indifferent. The bearded old man was unwilling. What can be done? Even with your space capabilities and Kong's assembled army, it will take at least 40 minutes to reach Marineford. Forty minutes is too long, said the sword-wielding old man again. After a pause, he said, unless you use your abilities, only the five of us plus Kong, the six bear commanders will pass. You have to know that Hengseng has four four emperors level combat powers alone, and Admiral even has seven rivals to Admiral. And what about Marine, Akainu, Kazaru, Garp, Sengoku, that's all. We've been in the past, and at best it's a draw. There is also an unfathomable Hengseng. Unless, please, Lord Yimu. Then go please, the time has come for Marine. No, when our world government is alive and dead, Marine must not let Hengseng and the others capture it. The bearded old man said solemnly. It is good, several people hurriedly walked into Mariajoy while talking, and at the same time, the whole Mariajoy alarm sounded loudly, making a mess. On the back mountain, all the guards had disappeared at this time, and a few people didn't care, they hurried to the door of the luxurious palace, pushed the door and entered. The five elders have seen Lord Yimu, and they interrupted early in the morning to let me know of something important. Say, there was a hint of coldness in the crisp voice, accompanied by terrifying coercion. Several people seemed to be pressed against by several large mountains, and they seemed to be filled with lead. They were extremely heavy, and even their breathing was a little short. Knowing that the Lord was angry, the sword-wielding old man hurriedly said. Hengseng pirates raid naval headquarters, Marine New Marshal Akainu called for help. And the disparity in strength between the two sides, we have to send troops quickly, but Hengseng needs your shot. Advertisement. Hengseng, it's him again. Interesting. There was a hint of laziness and surprise in the sweet voice. Dot 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 dot. Of course, the battle on Garp's side is just a pretense. 
A person who has cultivated his physical skills to the ultimate level will not be able to be the hairy boy. Sengoku's face changed. Golden light filled the air, and he wanted to make another shot. When there was a sound of breaking the air next to him, with the power of destroying the sky and destroying the earth, let Sengoku transfer this attack and slam it towards Kaido. The huge rhizome seemed to be alive, consuming Sengoku's physical strength frantically, and in the blink of an eye, Sengoku's face turned pale. Not good. Sengoku's face changed, just as he was about to break the rhizome on his foot. Behind him, his hands were suddenly entangled, and only one head was exposed like a mummy. Seeing this, the five elders took a long breath. It's not two on one or three on one, the strength is still the same, and they can't solve it in five minutes, then those cadres of them are really embarrassing for Hengsing. In the next instant, thick rhizomes protruded from the crack and wrapped around Sengoku's ankles. Five minutes passed by in the blink of an eye, and there were no less than forty people gathered in the square. These people were extremely powerful, the last one was Marine Vice Admiral, and the three leading them were Marine Admiral, plus Kong. Boom, only bring high-end combat power, assemble in the central square of the Holy Land in five minutes, as many as you can. Whitebeard was hanging and beating a kainu from the beginning to the end, and now a kainu was covered in blood, and his clothes are shattered, nothing like Marshal Marine should look. The branch in front of him was torn apart by the blast of the attacking wave, but it only recovered in an instant, like the dark brown seawater winding towards Sengoku again. Meet your majesty I am. The earth shook for a while, click, click. Knowing what this is, Sengoku didn't hesitate, dodged Kaido's attack, and waved his hand with gold pouring, and a terrifying air wave emanated from his hand in the golden light. Advertisement. The earth shook, the aftermath spread, and the terrifying impact was like a hurricane of destruction, sweeping in all directions, and the hard ground was even more cracked. During the conversation, the pressure on several people disappeared, and it was obvious that the five elders had forgiven the reckless crime of coming over early in the morning. Chakra spewed out from the body, and slammed into the ground. A moment later, a vague shadow appeared in the sky, and at the moment of its appearance, the five elders, including the five elders, bowed their heads and saluted respectfully. The battle fluctuations of the other two sides didn't even have half the power of Sengoku and Kaido. There is only one real fierce battle, and that is Sengoku and Kaido. It seemed to be a bit beyond the adults' expectations. Suddenly, his brows throbbed, followed by a throbbing in his heart, Hengsing's eyelashes were wrinkled, and at his strength, his brows and hearts were completely controlled, and there would be no such reaction. Clear, with nearly thirty powerful pacifists next to it, this foundation can only be described as terrifying. And the five elders, Admiral alone has nine, and the world government deserves to be the world government, and this terrifying background alone is much stronger than Marine's heyday. Master Yimu, what should we do? The old man with the sword asked cautiously. Boom, Marineford, Hengsing looked at the fluctuations of the surrounding battles with a calm expression. These battles are basically admiral level battles, and the marine vice admiral level battles have already been completed. Perceiving the disaster in the future, it should be that the reinforcements from the world government are coming soon, and I murmured in my heart. Let's go. With a wave of Sus hand, the majestic and noble voice made everyone's subconscious look solemn. This kind of power is much stronger than the five elders in Kong. In the three battlefields of Sengoku, Garp, and Akainu, Kazaru looked at Aokiji beside him with a solemn expression and smiled. If he really did it, he would be attacked by two admiral. Huge rhizomes burst out of the ground, like giant pythons, rushing towards the three of Sengoku as they wandered around. Chapter 511. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After solving Sengoku, the other two were better to say, when Garp saw the vines coming, he simply stopped and let these rhizomes wrap. Father, Ace shouted hastily, don't be nervous, these vines just absorb his physical strength and make him unable to fight. Hengsing stepped forward and said with a smile. Ha ha ha, you stinky brat, you know you care about me. Garp laughed, not caring about the rhizome-like vines on his body at all. Akainu's side is even more rude, and it is not Whitebeard's opponent. In the short period of time when Whitebeard fought, he was already seriously injured. After being entangled by rhizomes, he couldn't even struggle. In just a moment, the three Akainu were captured by Hengsing. With another wave, the rhizome seemed to be conscious, dragging the three of Akainu to appear in front of Hengsing. I wanted to delay the time until world government reinforcements, but now it seems that everything is over. Sengoku sighed with a pale face. Yeah, it's over. After I let you out, I guess there is only one power in this world. In a plain statement, Hengsing pointed his index finger, the space vortex appeared, and the three were directly put into the space vortex, which was also the safest place for Hengsing. When everything was done, Hengsing turned his gaze to Kazaru, and Kazaru smiled bitterly, I didn't join the battle just now, so don't put me in there too. What do you think? Hengsing asked back, of course you can run away too. Forget it, I'll go in with them. After all, Marine is the place to train me. It's fine if I don't take action at this critical moment. If I run away, what would I be like a Marine Admiral? With a wry smile, Kazaru Jingwang a flash appeared in front of the space vortex. Add that branch to me too, I didn't expect that you still have some backbone, this is the so-called sharing wheel and woe. After that, no nonsense, the surrounding rhizomes wrapped around Kazaru again, and sent it into his Kamui space by the way. Advertisement. This series of operations of Hengsing seems to take a long time, but in fact it is only completed in a moment, not even a minute. After sending Kazaru in, Hengsing breathed a sigh of relief and looked in one direction. The reinforcements from the world government, are they coming? Marshal, would you like to put those marine vice admiral in there too? Came up with a smile. Put it in, save them the trouble, the figure moved, and the space vortex emerged, and the unconscious or injured marine vice admiral was wrapped in vines and dragged into the space vortex. Notice, all the ordinary members are leaving in the distance, they are no longer able to stay here. Clear, nodding with a smile, after a while, the sailors belonging to Hengsing drove the warship in Marine Fort Port and left in the distance. Let those ordinary marines go too, it is good. After listening to Hengsing's words, all the marines looked at Hengsing gratefully, and finally the entire huge Marine Fort, except for the ordinary people inside, only Hengsing and other cadres were left. Hum, not long after those marines left, a huge space vortex appeared in the sight of Hengsing and others. Is it finally here? Hengsing narrowed his eyes. Come on, the Battle of Dingding is here. Redfield was excited. The same is true for the others. If they win this battle, the entire sea will be theirs in the future. It is no exaggeration to say that it is a change of dynasty. In the excitement of the crowd, a figure came out. This old man is none other than Kong. Advertisement. Followed by five old men, everyone knows that these five old men are the leaders of the world government, the five most powerful people in the ocean, five elders. After these six people, there were expressionless men in black, and the breath emanating from these men in black made bullet and the others in the distance dignified. In the blink of an eye, behind the five elders stood a dense crowd of men in black, as well as dozens of pacifists. These people should be all the high-end combat power of the world government. Said with a solemn smile. There should be some more, but, it doesn't matter, if you defeat these people, even if you have a backhand, you will only be a group of grasshoppers. Redfield said with a smile. 
They are all elites. The weakest one is comparable to Marine Vice Admiral, Jin said solemnly. What about Akainu and the others? Why can't they feel their breath? Could it be that they have already lost? The old man with the beard looked ugly. Should have been defeated. The entire Marine Ford, except for Hengsing and the others, are some Marines' family members, and their combat power is not high. Damn it, Akainu, these bastards, how long has it been, not even holding on for ten minutes? I really regret letting him be Marshal Marine. The yellow haired old man followed closely. While the few people were talking, a slender jade leg stepped out in midair, and a beautiful figure came out from it. The amber eyes are as deep as the stars, the three thousand purple hair swaying in the wind, and the purple mask covers the entire cheek, but from the perspective of her skin, she is definitely a woman who is not inferior to Hancock. Slim and bumpy, she was wearing a golden dress and white high heels that matched her fair complexion. Noble, cold, mysterious, beautiful, this is what Hengson gave to this woman. I am, I secretly said in my heart, under everyone's attention, I am slowly fell to the ground. The five elders hurriedly bent over and respectfully said, Lord Yimu. Imri ignored them, Amber looked at Hengson with interest, and said coldly, you are Hengson. Advertisement. It's me, Hengson nodded, your excellency should be the real master of world government. That's right, is it a surprise, a bit, I never thought that the ruler of the world government was a woman. I didn't expect that a kid who was playing a little trouble in East Blue would eventually grow up to this point. Plain words, but tit for tat. That person is strong. Did you feel it? I smelled a very dangerous breath from her. How about you? Redfield whispered as he walked over to Whitebeard and Kaido. Same. I thought it was the old man who felt wrong. It seems. This woman is not simple. Whitebeard said. Big brother, he won't lose. His strength is far from what we have seen. That woman may let us see the full strength of the boss. Kaido said with a flash of light, solemnly. Whitebeard, Kaido, Redfield, you've almost collected the crew of rocks. Imdai frowned and said indifferently. It's all right. If you come here to talk nonsense, then you can leave. I don't have time to talk nonsense with you. If you fight, I will accompany you to the end. Hengsing touched his nose and cut to the chase. There is nothing to talk about with a girl, finish the fight early, recover the sea early, and then return to your original hometown. As soon as these words came out, five elders shivered and his head lowered unconsciously. An icy aura erupted from Yimu's body like a wave of the ocean, sweeping towards Hengsing and the others. The surrounding temperature dropped sharply, and a trace of frost appeared on the ground. The pretty face was sullen, and a bone-chilling voice spit out from Yimu's red lips, you are the first person in the entire sea who dares to talk to me like this. The world changes in a fit of rage. This is the strength of the true master of the sea. Chapter 512. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The first one. Then I'm honored. With a smile on his face, Hengsing didn't care. I wanted to keep you as a pet, but now it seems that there is no need for it. It's useless to keep a disobedient dog, you should die. The cold voice just fell. Yimu Chenying disappeared in place in an instant, at an extremely fast speed, like a displacement, leaving only a golden afterimage under the sunlight. Eyes opened and closed, the purple rinnegan quietly opened, and at the same time, the seventh gate in front of the eight inner gate suddenly erupted, the scarlet heat wave surging, the footsteps stepped heavily, and a deep shoe mark appeared on the ground, like a black streamer, slammed up. The fair skinned hands turned into fists, stretched out flat, and moved slowly and gracefully. Hengsing's face was solemn, and the purple rinnegan could clearly see the destructive power carried on the white fist. The atmosphere is torn apart, the space is stagnant, and the pressure from above is enough to instantly kill any rear admiral. The terrifying giants gathered together, the seventh gate Dungia did not have any reservations, the muscles of the whole body were knotted, the fists were like meteorites, and there was a twist in the space, and they faced each other with a bang. Boom, like a thunderous explosion, the scalp of everyone present was numb. The ground where the two of them were located collapsed in an instant, expanding a kilometer radius in an instant, like an entrance to an abyss. Cobweb-like cracks appeared out of nowhere and spread throughout Marineford. The storm of destruction suddenly rises, sweeping in all directions like a natural disaster. At the center of the two, the terrifying air waves, wave after wave, caused everyone on both sides to retreat 100 meters unconsciously. Advertisement. Is this the foundation of world government? It's too strong. Even the old man's heyday is no match. Whitebeard's voice was extremely solemn. She should be the ultimate trump card of world government, Uranus Uranus. Long came over and said solemnly. Uranus, a memory from a long time ago. If this is the case, it will not be surprising. Redfield said, but the captain can fight her evenly, and I can only say that I am the captain. Maybe this time I can see the captain. All power. While the few people were talking, the aftermath of the surrounding air gradually dissipated, and two small figures could be vaguely seen in the bottomless pit. They still kept their punching posture, as if they were still in a fixed body. Not bad, not bad, it can withstand my bland punch. With some strength, it is worthy of being able to force the world government into its entirety. Each each other, I didn't expect that there are powerful people like you in the sea. She's still a woman, I hope you can let me show my full strength. The confrontational dialogue made the faces of the five elders and others above them extremely shocked. To say that whoever knows Mr. Yim the most in the entire sea, is naturally none other than them. I don't know how strong it is, but I learned a few sporadic words from the secret information of the world government, Admiral is like an ant, and if it moves, it will destroy the world. And these years, since dealing with Lord Yimu, it has also proved that the first sentence in the secret information, Admiral is really like an ant in front of Lord Yimu. Because each of the five of them is at least Admiral's strength, but, every time in front of Lord Yimu, just being angry is the terrifying coercion that erupts, making them a little breathless. Now there is a person who can catch Lord Yimu's punch and remains intact, which makes them extremely shocked and a little unacceptable. At the same time, I am very fortunate in my heart. Fortunately, I informed Lord Yimu this time that if only the five of them brought people here, it would be appropriate to be destroyed by Hengsing. As several people's thoughts flowed, two streams of light flew out from below and came to the air. Redfield and the others looked at each other and said with a smile, several. Let's start too, end early, go home early for the celebration banquet. Huh, whether Hengsing's idea can be realized depends on this battle. This is, Yi smiled and the others narrowed their eyes, is it the captain who came here? Advertisement. The terrifying aura erupted, like a black cloud pressing down on the city, and like a stormy sea, the violent aura was much stronger than it was just now. This is, conquerors. No, it should be the aura of the body. It's terrifying, murmured. Kong let me be your opponent. Whitebeard smiled boldly, and appeared in front of Kong with an agonata. Observation hockey was always on, and after sensing the source, his face instantly became silent. However, the voice changed, mere bells and whistles have no effect on me. I'll take you today to warm up my body, and my body has been sitting for hundreds of years, and it's a little rusty. Aokiji spit out a mouthful of Hengsing, Hengsing filled his body, and slapped the ground hard, Ice Age. The two forces clashed, and all objects within a thousand miles in midair were quietly squeezed into pieces by them. A figure appeared out of thin air beside him, Shadow Clone and his mind were connected, without Hengsing's instructions, they fell down. 
The ice appeared and spread wildly into the distance in an instant. In the blink of an eye, the huge crescent bay port had turned into a world of ice. The captain and that woman, are they really human? A question quietly emerged in my mind. Below, the people who were fighting felt the pressure from above, and the fighting action paused slightly, and the whole body seemed to be under a heavy burden. Clone technique, sure enough, just like the five elders said, you are a multi-ability person. The cold voice was like a cold ice, causing the surrounding temperature to drop a little. The blood red ore pervaded his body, and bloodthirsty bats appeared all over his body. As the battlefield selected outside, that's fine, this is naval headquarters, if it is destroyed by the aftermath of our battle, it will cost a lot of money to rebuild. The bearded old man said with a smile. Hum, what's going on? Why does my body suddenly become so heavy? It's higher than the maximum gravity of my gravity fruit. He smiled and frowned. Advertisement. Boom, boom, really, the ship doesn't even know how to control it, it's affecting us. Bullet frantically murmured at the man opposite him. The surrounding space became extremely viscous, like a quagmire, and the mighty force headed towards Hanksing. All that was left was the clear blue sky and the sun just poking its head out. The dark brown rhizomes are like flying snakes, their bodies are flexible and rush towards the world government organization. Avoid these, being entangled in these will continuously absorb your physical strength, and finally lose your combat power. The bearded old man shouted when he saw this. At this moment, branches of branches appeared from the cracks on the ground, and then grew wildly, like vines. A majesty that was no more than a mom's aura erupted from Hengsing, the only difference was that Hengsing's aura was icy and murderous at the same time, extremely bloody. It was a pity that it was too late. After he shouted this sentence, one admiral and five or six vice admiral men in black were caught off guard. They were entangled in layers of vines and lost their combat power in an instant. Whoa, oh, this is the beginning. Feeling the fluctuations below, Hengsing's eyes were filled with surprise. Next moment, so irritable, just let me come and meet you. Redfield smiled slightly, the red umbrella swayed, and the figure appeared in front of the blonde old man like a ghost. Shish, go. The irritable yellow-haired old man was the first to speak, and at the same time he was thinking about rushing forward. King to king, to general, a fate that decides the ownership of the entire sea broke out. The high-end cadres of the new government are looking for their opponents. Chapter 513. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When the bearded old man saw this, he scolded, damn it. Isn't that guy fighting with Lord Yimu? How can he be distracted by manipulating these branches? The black-clothed people who lost their combat power were dragged by the branches to the front of Hengsing's avatar. Yes, Hengsing, how is that possible? Isn't this guy supposed to be fighting with Lord Yimu? How could this happen? The blonde old man looked at the scene in disbelief. Old Jin is calm. Clone technique. I'm afraid it won't take long. The exhaustion will automatically dissipate. Don't worry about it. Come out and beat him at will. Don't be distracted. There must be no mistakes in this battle. The long-bearded old man shout out. Just finished. Not far away. There were bursts of metal explosions and the pungent smell of gasoline. The long-bearded old man turned his head. His face turned red. His chest heaved and he was so angry that he was ultimate. His voice was hoarse. Hengsing. Damn it's bastard. In the distance, the pacifists were mercilessly penetrated from the inside to the outside by the dark brown branches, and I didn't know how these branches grew, not only tough, but also very sharp. The incomparably sturdy iron sheet had no obstacles in front of it, and in an instant, dozens of pacifists in the distance were scrapped on the spot, and some even let out a monstrous explosion. Dozens of pacifists, or the latest type, if nothing else, the laser beam inside can easily penetrate anyone, even if Admiral is hit by one. Dozens of pacifists, attacking from a distance, can definitely bring unimaginable advantages to their world government, which has been destroyed by Hengsing before it can give an order. Rage, rage, an unnamed rage surged from the hearts of the five elders and spread throughout. Hengsing, the sword wielding old man shouted coldly. If I had known earlier, I would definitely leave a few high-end combat forces behind in front of the pacifists, not just one. Advertisement. Looking at the man in black who was left behind in the distance and turned into a mummy surrounded by vines, the five elders regretful lungs are about to explode. Calm down, calm down for me, the pacifists have been ruined, and the moment is the most important thing. The old man with a mustache took a deep breath and shouted loudly. With this roar, the five elders and others came back to their senses, and they all controlled their emotions and concentrated on dealing with the enemy in front of them. But they've made up their minds that if they win this battle, they'll definitely let Hengsing know what the wrath of the five elders is. Above, perceiving everything that happened below, Hengsing breathed a sigh of relief. Now, in terms of overall high-end combat power, it has already tilted towards them, plus a clone is assisting, victory is only a matter of time. Do you really think the battle below can decide everything? Everything you do is useless. The protagonists of this battle are us, in other words, no matter who wins or loses in the battle below. As long as the two of us decide the winner, even if we lose the one below, the battle will be won. A cold voice spit out from the purple lips behind the mask, and a hot air filled the surroundings with a hint of fragrance. Therefore, Yi Emu's voice stopped, his eyes narrowed, and he said with a cold face, the real winner in this battle is only you and me, those below are just ants, you can kill them at will. I know, I understand everything, but I can't be like you, cold and ruthless, my subordinates will give up if they say they give up. Hengsing smiled slightly, his voice soft and soft. It's not that I'm ruthless, it's that I've lived too long, and I'm used to seeing life and death parting. As long as I'm here, the world government will not fall. I'm's pretty face froze, eyes with war intent, it's useless to talk too much, let's decide the winner quickly. Although the five old things of the five elders are a bit useless. But anyway, they have managed the world government for decades, there is no credit or hard work. I don't want to find a few more people to remanage the world government. With a wave of sus hand, a dazzling light appeared, and as soon as it appeared, a warm breath rippled out, and the spirit was lifted. Hengsing frowned, this breath, how is it similar to medical ninjutsu? This field is not fixed, but moves with the movement of the two people, which is very strange. With a savage smile, the right hand is vacantly held, the dark black thunder fills the air, and the three billion volt thunder sword is instantly assembled. Advertisement. One black and one white will collide in an instant. Yin Yu's face was indifferent, also holding swords in both hands, Hang Sing's every sword was resolved by her force. Crackle, crackle, hum, boom, of course, the entire sea seems to be still, and it is divided into two parts. Looking up from the sky, it seems like a scar of the sky, stretching across the heaven and the earth, dividing the sea into two halves. Goo, goo, the thunder flashed, and it fell into the sea with a thunder sword that covered the world. In the blink of an eye, the two disappeared into the sky, away from Marineford, and where they appeared. The domain is half thunder and half white flame, like a blue and white picture scroll. Each sharp sword chi can be compared with the slashes of the great swordsman. That's right, it actually makes me feel some danger. She really deserves to be the most honorable woman in the world. This sword has been useless for a long time. I have already forgotten its existence. In return, your purple eyes are my collection gift. Yimu stroked the long sword in his hand, like stroking his own child. 
Boom, boom, boom. The clear water flows slowly, and the fishes move back and forth in it, and deeper, you can vaguely see unknown terrifying giants foraging in it. Advertisement. After a while, the sea returned to its original state, and while the ark was moving, fish and crabs floated on the sea in a scorched state, bursting with fragrance. There was a constant roar in the sky for a while. The two of them are like two falling meteors, madly colliding in the sky, one after another sword energy, sword light, like afterimages, emanating from the two of them. Not to be outdone, the two of Hanksing opened the seventh gate, holding the thunder sword in both hands, slashing quickly. Every sword carries the power of destroying the sky and destroying the earth, which can destroy a huge mountain in an instant. The bright light dissipated, and a long white blade appeared in Yimu's hand, and white fireworks burned all over his body. As Yimu swayed, the space appeared a little distorted. It didn't take long for the sea to recover, and a white flame sword chi that was comparable to the thunder sword chi fell from the sky again. The moment the two long swords collided, each manifested its own power, as if two spiritual long swords were fighting each other. But, the sea surface that the thunder sword energy swept across was unable to heal for a long time. The two of them ignored it, like mad beasts, their eyes filled with fighting intent, and they were extremely mad, as if they would not give up until they defeated their opponents. Body like a phantom, fast like a streamer, a lot of heat filled the air, the whole sea seemed to have been boiled, and a lot of seafood floated on the sea bright red, as if it had been cooked, and the sails were much better than the ones just now. After Hanksen condensed the thunder sword, the two disappeared in place in the next instant. Thunder rages, white flames spit, call out, as time passed, the two of them did not slow down their slashing movements at all. Gradually, crisscrossing sword chi was intertwined around them, forming a huge field. Chapter 514. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Not far from the sea, a pirate ship quietly watched all this, everyone on board was extremely sluggish, like standing statues. This, is this still human power? Looking at all this blankly, the clown buggy cried out in horror. This kind of sword spirit, even the world's greatest swordsman doesn't have eagle eyes, Mr. Three said with a pale face. That, that, how can one of the two look like the new government marshal? Hanksing, no, it's Hanksing, Alvita exclaimed. That girl, how can she be like this with Hanksing? She, who is she, also, isn't Hanksing supposed to be in the new world? How could he appear in the grand line? Buggy's face changed greatly, and he yelled anxiously. Looking at the direction of the two, Mr. Three's face changed greatly as if he was thinking of something, and tremblingly said, they seem to be calling all the way from there. There, Buggy looked down Mr. Three's fingers, his pupils shrank for a while, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead, that was the direction of naval headquarters. Could it be, Hanksing they are attacking naval headquarters, and that woman is Marine, world government's ultimate trump card. Thinking of this, the clown Buggy was covered in hair and shouted frantically, go. Get out of here, let's go back to the Four Seas, back to East Blue. Quick. Hanksing and Yim don't care about the scene in front of them. To them, Admiral is an ant, and Buggy and the others don't care. Sabayati Archipelago, Shaki Bar, Rayleigh drank the wine prepared by Shaki himself, and said with emotion, I didn't expect this kid Hanksing to get to this point. I'm afraid the next step is Marine, overthrowing the world government. Indeed, even that guy Long will be included by him. I'm afraid that the world government and the others didn't expect this. They are already in a panic now, Shaki said with a smile, smoking a cigarette. This is, suddenly, Rayleigh's eyes were extremely solemn, he stood up and looked in a direction, and his figure disappeared in a flash. Advertisement. What a terrifying majesty, who the hell is fighting? Shaki murmured, and the figure disappeared quietly in the next instant. Sabayati Archipelago is not far away, high in the sky. Hanksing was holding a long sword of thunder, surrounded by dark black thunder, like a thunder god who fell from the sky, the thunder snake jumped, and the space was distorted. The white flame rises, it seems to be able to wipe away all the dirt in the world, it is sacred and noble, and it has pity on the world, like an angel in the dust. I am and Hanksing looked at each other, their bodies were covered with dense wounds. Hanksing's brows were slightly wrinkled, the masculine chakra filled the air, and the scars on his body began to recover at a speed visible to the naked eye, and in the blink of an eye, he recovered as before. The white light was bright, purifying the world, and the blue scars on Yimu's body gradually disappeared. Both of them used their own recovery methods to restore the scars. I'm curious, are you really Uranus Uranus? With a wave of his hand, the lightning raged, Hanksing smiled slightly. Uranus, just a compliment for me by those idiots. As for my true identity, you'll know when you beat me. I am sneered disdainfully. In the next moment, the white flame sword that can destroy everything swung towards Hanksing again. The sword chi is vertical and horizontal, like the white sword chi in the communication field, and the dazzling sword chi turns into various beast shapes and blasts towards Hanksing. All beasts come out, stop showing off this trick. It can't handle me, sneered. The dark black thunder sword was swung, and not far away, the thunder sword chi surged like a rain of arrows, facing thousands of sword chi beasts. Boom, the monstrous roar resounded throughout the sky, it was like a volcano hitting the earth. In the next instant, she understood what Hanksing was talking about. Advertisement. Shaking his head slightly, the dark black thunder long sword suddenly burst out with incomparable brilliance, a stride, like a spatial displacement, suddenly appeared in front of Yimu. The air waves in the high sky are rolling, like a world-destroying storm that destroys everything, and the terrifying aftermath destroys everything in the high sky, revealing a poor blue sky. The power of your thunder and lightning should be very powerful. If a normal person would be killed by that blow, unfortunately, my whole body is non-conductive. In other words, your thunder and lightning will not work for me. This is, a humanoid, are you a robot? Hanksing said in surprise. Uranus Uranus disappoints me too much if you only have that kind of power. It's time to end this farce. But in the next moment, the smile on his face disappeared, and he said solemnly, sure enough, it can't end so early. Holding the sword to resist, the cold words, and the disdain raised by the purple lips, Yimu's meaning is self-evident. What's wrong, Rayleigh, look so bad, Shaki appeared next to Rayleigh, frowning. With the destructive storm now, Hanksing stared at Yimu's beautiful cheeks and chuckled, it's such a beautiful cheek, what a pity. You are too careless, do you really think I have that kind of strength? The light flickered, and Rayleigh instantly thought of the cause and effect. So, that woman should be the proud Uranus Uranus of the world government, or the ultimate trump card. At this moment, a figure suddenly rushed to a house, and Rayleigh looked at the two figures in the sky and the coercion surrounding them. Answering coldly, Aim's body was filled with white holy light, and the injured part recovered very quickly, and it was as good as ever in the blink of an eye. It's over, Uranus, that's all, said indifferently, Hanksing looked at the fallen I.M. with a hint of excitement in his eyes. Laugh, horrified, Hanksing, how could he be here, could it be, he attacked naval headquarters today. In the aftermath, Hanksing's clothes were rustling, and their hair was waving. They were handsome men and women, like exiled immortals descended from the sky. Advertisement. It's useless, we are equal in strength, and what you do is useless. Besides. 
Call out, white as jade, blue blood splattered from his body, and one by one metal-like structures appeared in Hengsing's line of sight. In different eyes, destroy everything. What do you mean? Eyelashes wrinkled, a little surprised. I didn't expect you to actually hurt my body, Yimu asked instead without answering. While speaking, Rayleigh took Shaki's hand and ran wildly into the distance. He didn't care to hide, he used his aerial skills directly, and disappeared in place in the blink of an eye. Below, I am, who immediately fell into the water, suddenly stagnated in midair, and then rushed to the sky at an extremely fast speed, appearing in front of Hengsing. Hum, come on, meet two lunatics, it's too late Sabayadi Archipelago may be reduced to ashes by the aftermath of the battle between the two lunatics. The strong vibration caused the sea below to boil, setting off a huge wave. The aftermath ripples for thousands of miles, like a scavenger, clearing everything in the sky. A crack gradually emerged from the white flame longsword, and finally expanded the entire sword body, violent thunder roared and roared, the white flame longsword in his hand suddenly turned into white light and exploded. In the surprise on his face, blue blood splattered, like a fallen fairy, falling towards the bottom. The long sword of thunder, which is enough to destroy everything, swiped at Yimu's lightning. At this moment, the terrifying thunder and lightning ripped apart the space. The huge pressure made Yimu's head mass quietly shatter, revealing the face of the country and the city inside. Damn, what are these two lunatics fighting here for? Want the whole Sabayadi archipelago to be buried? Rayleigh cursed. A sharp thunder sword swept across the sky and instantly bombarded Yimu. Chapter 515. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Robot, this white light can actually repair your body. Are you alive? Hengsing frowned, his face even more puzzled. It's okay to tell you. For so many years, it's hard to hold back. The purple lips spit lightly, and the fragrance is charming. Eight hundred years ago, the world government dug me out somewhere, and at the same time there were pictures and texts of the android system. But, the pictures and text above are too old and they don't know them at all, so they asked me to translate them. Unfortunately, I seem to have completed it in a hurry, and my mind is blank. I don't know. Of course they don't admit it, they want to use force. It's a pity that those strong people who were proud of them in their eyes were beaten to death by me with one punch. How do I say my strength? Converted to the current strength unit, it has five times the strength of Admiral, and has endless physical strength. Later, the old people of the world government, after knowing my strength, wanted to subvert the D family of world rulers at that time. I didn't understand anything at that time. After that, you all knew that we succeeded. The D family also perished. Later, they established the world government and made me Uranus. But I'm not interested in these. I'm really interested in hockey swordsmanship in this world. Therefore, I have been practicing hockey swordsmanship since the establishment of the world government. It took 200 years to cultivate them to the ultimate and, breaking the tradition, one step closer. After that, I asked the world government to find me a devil fruit that can cure everything. After decades, they really found one for me. That's it. As Yimu spoke, a dazzling white light radiated from his body, like a big sun, shining on the entire sea. The dazzling white light attracted the attention of the people of Sabayadi Archipelago, who looked towards the distance with a puzzled look. The white light converged, and an angel appeared in front of Hengsing. Six white feathers appeared quietly behind them, and while dancing, the white feathers fell down with the wind with a splendid brilliance. Advertisement. Wearing a phosphor white armor, holding a white flame sword that had just broken, a white shield in the other hand, and a white mask covering his fair face. The whole body emits colorful light, it is really an angel in the dust. The invisible ripple surged, and the pressure around Hengsing increased several times. Goo, goo, that, that's an angel, good, so beautiful. It's so beautiful, the angel has descended. Seeing this, some people in Sabayadi Archipelago knelt down and shouted in surprise. High in the sky, Yimu looked at Hengsing, and a cold voice came, word by word, zone, you demons. Seraph fruit. You demons, really you demons, I think you've become a real person. Because, I am smiled, making Hengsing's face dignified, I broke ultimate. Break ultimate, as we all know, developing devil fruit to ultimate is awakening. But who would have thought that there would be another level after awakening? Appreciate further details, maybe it's because I've lived for a long time that I want to find someone to talk to, but it's actually nothing. It's very simple, devil fruit is called devil fruit because if you eat it, you will not only gain the power of the devil, but the devil will also hide in your body. Whether it's the previous awakening or the use of it, the devil is controlling you. The last point is very simple, follow the devil fruit energy source in your body to find him. Just defeat it. Defeat him, you are the one who controls the devil, and you can even become a devil. Advertisement. And this, Yimu said with a stunned tone, it's what I look like in the form of a demon. Even an admiral level expert would have to kill for these air waves. When the words fell, the whole body of chakra erupted like a volcano, the whole person changed rapidly, and the chakra coat composed of hook jade appeared out of thin air. But Hengsing didn't expect that Aim's white holy sword could resist the power of truth-seeking balls six paths. It can only be said that the two of them are fighting now, it is no longer a battle between the two, but the collision of the rules of the two worlds. Squeak, the sea below is even more turbulent, and 100 meter high waves rise out of thin air, sweeping all the surrounding islands, like a prelude to the destruction of the world. The sound of metal collision and cutting sounded, white light flashed, and the wall in front of the truth-seeking ball was cut into two pieces. Reach out and hold it, a black scepter breaks through the space and appears in Hengsing's hand. At the same time, the white shield grows out of thin air, and will instantly grow to the size of a door, completely protecting I am. Holy light filled the air, like a white laser, I am appeared in front of Hengsing. The strength of being a demon can be said to increase exponentially. Of course, my strength is more than that, the premise is that you can defeat me in this mode. In the last sentence, Yimu's purple lips curled slightly, full of confidence. After speaking, the surging coercion added another out of thin air, making Hengsing feel like a quagmire. Six paths mode, on, the holy sword slashed, the terrifying ripples rippled, and the void was stagnant. After a long time, the vision dissipated, colorful rays of light rippling, and the energy of destruction flows out continuously, resisting the two black truth-seeking balls in front. Dark as ink, nine black truth-seeking balls sprang out of the space, like a circle around the back. Advertisement. Never mind, you showed your strongest power, and in return, let you see my strongest power. The truth-seeking ball has the ability to instantly destroy a forest, and those who do not have the power of six paths will dissipate without a trace if they touch it. I am put the shield in front of him, the white shield is brilliant, and the colorful rays of light radiate from the shield. Very powerful remarks, clapping with both hands, Hengsing lifted the seventh gate armor and smiled lazily, I originally thought that opening the seventh gate and thunderfruit would be able to defeat you, but now it seems that I am a little naive. With a thought, the truth-seeking ball automatically emerges from behind and turns into a black wall. Light, shield, behind him, the original five truth-seeking balls, suddenly the black streamer spun, two black truth-seeking balls appeared out of thin air, and the disappeared two guiding jade recovered again. Hengsing looked at the white holy sword that collided with the jade for guidance, with surprise in his eyes. 
Looking at the unfathomable and unfathomable pressure around him, Heng Sing smiled slightly, tapped his pleading in the air, invisible ripples spread out, and the surrounding majesty disappeared instantly and returned to its original state. Like a volcano hitting the earth, a huge roar spread thousands of miles, not far away, people in Sabayati Archipelago turned pale, bleeding from the corners of their mouths, and some people even fainted. What a powerful aura, I'm more and more interested in you. In the light of the wind, the purple pupils lifted and looked at the blazing angel in the distance, this is my last strength. Clap clap clap, high in the sky, the airwaves visible to the naked eye emanated from the two of them, like rolling waves, and the mountains and seas spread wildly in all directions, like a collapse in the void, the momentum is huge, and it is extremely terrifying. Boom, a cool drink, Heng Sing's face changed color, and another truth-seeking ball sprang out of thin air, slamming into the white holy sword. Before the wave was extinguished, Heng Sing waved his right hand, and the two truth-seeking balls behind him turned into two black meteors and attacked IM. Chapter 516. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. The roar of the sky is loud. The aftermath of the terrifying destruction of the world reappears, but Heng Sing doesn't even look at it, staring at the shield in the distance. As visible to the naked eye, the colorful light in front of the white shield is dim. Whoosh. In the next instant, the black jade for guidance flew again. It slammed into the white shield. When, a dull sound came from high in the sky, exquisite large shield white light flows, as majestic as a mountain. Straws of colorful light flowed out from it, as if trying to restore the glory just now. It's useless. Seraph's shield can be said to be the strongest defense in the whole world. Even if I hit it with all my strength, I won't leave a trace on it. Give it up. A cold voice came from behind the big shield. Maybe, but I don't believe in the best defense in the world. My favorite is to break the impossible. Heng Sing smiled. With a wave of his palm, the two truth-seeking balls flew out from behind him again. Boom. Just when I am was about to speak again, a terrifying explosion erupted in front of him. It doesn't matter what the struggle. With a sneer, the three thousand purple waterfalls danced with the wind, with a look of disdain on his face. Of course, the smile at the corner of the mouth has not converged. Immediately after two earth-shattering roars sounded around again. Ein's pretty face changed slightly, and the amber-like eyes showed a hint of disbelief. Only after the white shield in front of him exploded with three terrifying sounds, a crack appeared on it. This crack gradually expanded until it was dense. Of course, just as I was about to put away the big shield in front of me, a sound like the previous roar came again. Advertisement. Click, click, bang. The shield that was already full of cracks, with the sound of this terrifying explosion, the big shield in front of it burst open, turning into white fragments and scattering. At the same time, the terrifying impact of the explosion rushed to I am like a stormy sea. Humph, with a cold snort, Yin Yu's pretty face was sullen. Facing the aftermath of the sky, the white flame holy sword waved at will. Wad Wong circulated, and a colorful sword chi shot out from the holy sword. In an instant, it became a scar of the sky connecting the heaven and the earth. The huge impact in front of him is like a wave that has been cut apart, split into two. It swept through the middle of I am and swept into the distance, and it cannot heal until it dissipates. The seven colored sword chi cut through the shock wave, and the remaining power continued to slash towards not far away Hengsing. Hengsing looked indifferent, the black scepter knocked in the air, the thunder light filled the air, and a black thunder sword chi emanated from Hengsing out of thin air, rushing towards the colorful sword chi. Laugh, boom, the sharp sword chi tore out cracks in the surrounding space, the cracks expanded, and a space black hole quietly emerged, swallowing the two sword chi. The black hole begins to dissipate gradually, and the surrounding space is still gradually healing. Vaguely, the two of them saw the raging space storms from the space, which made their hearts palpitate. Are those two really human? Why, why is there such a strong person in the sea? Whitebeard is no more than this in front of them. Lord Angel, and that lord, you have to fight far away. If you fight again, the entire Sabayati archipelago will be destroyed. Watching the fairy fight in the distance, some Sabayati archipelago people begged. Especially the huge wave of 100 meters that was set off not far away made everyone want to cry without tears. Who are they offending? Do they need to treat them like this? High in the sky, with a wave of Heng Sing's right hand, the truth-seeking balls gathered in front of him, and in an instant the reason was restored again, surrounding him behind his back. Yimu was a little surprised, and took a deep look at Heng Sing. his body was filled with holy light, and the colorful light covered the whole sky, like a rainbow, extremely gorgeous. Whoosh whoosh, advertisement. A stream of white streamers flew in front of Yimu from below, and among the colorful rays of light, a delicate white shield appeared in front of her. In the next instant, the white wings spread like a stream of white light. I am holding a sword in one hand and a shield in the other rushing towards Heng Sing again. Melee, you won't die if you don't see the yellow river. He shook his head slightly. Five truth-seeking balls are melted into each part of Heng Sing and turned into a majestic jet black armor. Four truth-seeking balls are waiting in front of you, and the black thunder is filled with light, like a falling thunder god, with a mighty light light tearing the air, banging up. Boom. As soon as they collided, the two began to collide more violently. The white holy sword was swung, and the colorful ripples rushed to Heng Sing. The colorful ripples were beautiful and unusual, like purifying the dirt in the world, and the void collapsed wherever they passed. When the black scepter knocked, countless thunders erupted from Heng Sing's body, turning into ferocious thunder dragons, swallowing all the colorful ripples in the sky. The scepter knocked again, and the four jades for guidance turned into swords, spears, swords, and halberds, with the power of destroying the sky and destroying the earth, and slammed into Yimu. Hold the shield to resist, and the dazzling light shines on the heavens like a big sun. Colorful ripples quickly pour out from the big shield, as if a small world is loaded. There was a loud noise, and a giant sword with a huge force of obstruction came up, and Yimu's pretty face sank. Huge waves rolled on the sea surface, and a huge submarine whirlpool quietly emerged. When the words fell, he waved down again to Hengsing who appeared. Immediately surrounded by the six paths attack, each attack is enough to instantly kill any admiral level character in the sea. I am holding the white flame holy sword, the colorful rays of light flow, and the white flame holy sword instantly turns into the size of a giant pillar. These attacks, as long as they hit I am not dead, they will be injured. The anger in the amber-like eyes, the three thousand blue and purple danced in the wind, and the white armor was stained with a little dust, showing a little embarrassment. Like a nuclear explosion, Mars hits the earth. Four crisp sounds, this time there was no explosion, just a pure attack. When, Hengsing stepped forward and appeared above Yimu. You underestimate me, the purple lips poured out, and Hengsing could smell the fragrance in his mouth. Advertisement. Hengsing smiled slightly, spitting out at the corners of his mouth, exploding. Boom, the huge waves are rolling, the sea water is pouring back, and the river is divided and the sea is broken. All of a sudden, the six pairs of white wings on Aim's back flashed out, disappearing from Hengsing's sight in an instant like a teleportation in space. Break me, the giant sword is raised high, and it slashes down against the four truth-seeking balls below. Space capability, I am murmured, just when these attacks are about to come. This wave seems to be able to open up the world, reverse yin and yang, and collapse the space. 
Ripples appeared in the space, Hengsing walked out of it, and praised without hesitation, a very powerful move. If you are hit by that move, even me will have some trouble. Lightning filled the air, and two fifty-volt thunder dragons sprang from Hengsing's body, rushing towards Mimu with their claws and claws. At the same time, four truth-seeking balls also sprang out. Dang dang dang, four guiding jade flew out from Hengsing, resisting the blank flame holy sword. The wings spread behind him, the body that was flying upside down paused, and he raised his head. Shish, high in the sky, a white shadow flew out into the distance. When the light gathers, he waved at Hengsing. One after another monstrous force made Yunyu's body for a while, and then, the whole person turned into a white streamer and flew out into the distance, disappearing from the sight of everyone in the distance in an instant. It's my turn, an indifferent drink came from above Hengsing's head. Boom, like a pillar supporting the sky collapsing, a huge sword chi fell from the sky, completely dividing the sea area into two halves. The aftermath of terror is rippling, sweeping across all directions. Chapter 517. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Between the teeth clenched, a chilling intent erupted from the body. Sacred, noble, queen of icebergs, all kinds of terms came to Hengsing's mind. Yin Yang and the five elements converged, and four truth seeking balls appeared beside him in the blink of an eye. The colorful rays of light flowed, and the broken white flame holy sword appeared in Aim's hands again. She took a deep breath and shook her head coldly, what a pity. The words did not give Hengsing a chance to speak. The white flame sword aimed at Hengsing and drew a huge circle in midair, like drawing with colorful pens on white paper. The eyes are indifferent, cold and ruthless, holy light. Destruction. The colorful light is flowing, and the terrifying energy is brewing on the aperture. Hum, a beam of white light erupted from the beam, and the void trembled where it passed, time stagnated, destroying and destroying all the dirt in the world. Amazing energy, but, too fixed, Hengsing shook his head, and Rinnegan emitted bursts of purple ripples. The surrounding space turned into a black and white three-dimensional color, stepping on a three-dimensional node, the next moment, Hengsing's body suddenly disappeared within the range of the white light attack. Without Hengsing's figure, Bai Guang continued to attack, posing on a giant mountain in the distance. Hum, there was no roaring sound, the two met, and the entire white beam passed through the top of the mountain, as if the mountain in front did not exist, and it was removed with an eraser, leaving only a huge hole in the middle. The beam moved on, disappearing from Hengsing's sight in the blink of an eye. In a moment, a monstrous roar sounded, and Hengsing could feel the terrifying power of the beam explosion even from far away, and even the sky began to shake. I don't know how many attacks you can send out. Although the power is strong, the limit is too great. Hengsing smiled and shook his head slightly. Buzz. Advertisement. I am not saying a word, swinging his sword and drawing three circles in the shape of a zigzag and blasting at Hengsing. Shaking his head slightly, his figure flashed and disappeared again within the attack range of the three holy lights. You really pissed me off, Yimu said coldly, putting away his long sword. The next moment, black and red flames permeated his body, and the terrifying aura was like the ocean of Wang Yang, and the vastness swept the surroundings. The entire sky was dyed black and red by these two bright colors, like a harbinger of hell. What? The cold drink resounds all around. As the black and red flames rise, Aim's aura is also rapidly increasing. The black red aura condensed around, like a silkworm chrysalis slowly wrapping Yimu. The terrifying energy was brewing around, and this energy made Hengsing frown, and he felt a little danger from it. Interesting. This should be Aim's last whole card. Beat his last whole card and the battle is over. Near the sea, a small boat swayed with the wind, and the nearby galloping waves, no matter how swept it, would not swallow the boat and shred it. On the boat, Hawkeye sits indifferently with arms around his arms. Suddenly, his face changed, and he looked up at the sky in the distance, with shock and disbelief in his eyes. That breath, who is it, who is fighting, why, why is my body feeling fear? Fear, that's right, it's fear. Hawkeye felt a smell of ultimate danger or even falling from the sky above, his body trembled unconsciously, and a consciousness in his mind yelled wildly, get out of here. Get out of here. As a swordsman, rather straight and not bent, the kendo of the eagle eye should be unrivaled. But after feeling the majesty above, he hesitated and retreated, do you really want to leave? An idea suddenly appeared in his mind. In the next moment, I threw this idea out, and a pair of eyes were extremely sharp, piercing the sky. In the next moment, Hawkeye rose into the air, and flew towards the sky in a few ups and downs. Advertisement. He wants to see who is fighting, who makes his body feel the smell of fear, who is so powerful. Hengsing, who was waiting for the end of Aim's transformation, felt a figure coming from below, with a hint of surprise in his eyes. Rinnegan looked down, and Hengsing was a little surprised when he saw the familiar outfit. The arrogance of the world's greatest swordsman, even if he knew that this place was dangerous, he would not allow him to let go of his dignity, otherwise, it would be a huge blow to his swordsmanship. What a pity, Hengsing shook his head, a cyan crescent appeared, accompanied by dense sword intent. The sword energy galloped towards Hengsing and the two of them on the battlefield. The black and red colors converge, and Yin figure gradually appears in front of Hengsing. The terrifying coercion doubled like a volcano out of thin air, Eagle Eye was directly pushed out by this sudden and powerful coercion, and the entire portrait was bombarded by dozens of giant mountains. Purple-eyed Thunder Emperor, no, now the new government marshal, Hengsing. There was a charming and enchanting smile on the cold face, and the purple red lips turned into a bewitching red without knowing it. The six pairs of black wings behind him waved slightly, and wisps of black starlight fell from above. The unbelieving evil Eagle Eye continued to fly a few steps forward, and suddenly there was a burst of crisp bones from his body accompanied by the sound of blood spitting out of his mouth. Seeing this, Hengsing shook his head slightly, why? Taking a deep breath, with a firmness in his eagle eyes, Heidai appeared in his hand instantly. This knife can be said to be the most peak knife of Hawkeye. It is also the most powerful sword. How is that possible? Looking at his peak, the two of them only advanced to the battlefield with a single slash, the eagle's eyes are full of disbelief, and his face is even more depressed. If Yimu's last form was a goddess of icebergs, then this form is a ruthless witch who fell into the devil's way. The black and red fireworks boiled, and the black and red silkworm chrysalis that surrounded Yimu appeared a little crack, and then burst open. Enchanting, charming, captivating. As for the guy on the other side, he doesn't know him, but he is definitely a very, very scary character. Advertisement. He knew the figure in midair. Although the clothes had changed, the overall situation had not changed. The purple pupils in particular showed his identity. The cyan crescent moon is worthy of being the most powerful sword energy in Eagle Eye. It rushed forward dozens of meters in an instant, and after a while, it was over a hundred meters. Click, click, holding the knife in both hands, waiting intently, the sword intent permeates the knife, and slashes ruthlessly at the invisible barrier in front of you. Laugh. Now the battle between Hengsing and Yimu is no longer a personal battle, but involves the rules of the two worlds, or the battle of heaven. The blood sprayed and fell down. A black and red armor appeared on her graceful body, and the white flame holy sword in her hand turned into a scarlet spear. In fact, as Hengsing said, Hawkeye seemed to fall into a quagmire at a distance of about a thousand meters from the battlefield between the two of them. 
This level of battle, let alone eagle eyes, even if Admiral came over, he was also killed by the aftermath. Every time you take a step forward, the weight on your body increases exponentially. After 100 meters, the blue crescent moon was struggling, and it was extremely dim. The wind and clouds change color, and the sea water pours back. Boom. If I left just now, maybe the blow to Hawkeye would be very light, but now. I guess it will leave a shadow in my heart in the future. Poor baby. This is my second form. I call it the fallen angel. This form is based on fighting and killing. Looking deeply at the two figures not far away, Hawkeye stepped back, feeling that his body returned to normal, his eyes were full of unwillingness. Hum. Its existence seemed to anger the majesty of Hengsing and the two, and their pressure suddenly doubled, squeezing the cyan crescent in front of them into pieces. The corners of his mouth were licked, his red lips spit out, and his heart was stunned. Chapter 518. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Feeling the boundless blood and murderous aura all over Aim's body, Hengsing frowned slightly, falling angel. Is this really the seraph devil fruit? How come there are two forms? After you completely control your own demons, you will have another choice in your mind, falling to hell from a holy angel and slaughtering all the people. Three hundred years ago, after I took full control of the divine angelic form and dug it out, a picture popped into my mind. That picture is the scene of a kind angel falling into hell. After that, I started to try and research, and this research took me fifty years. It was not until fifty years later that I initially completed the process from holy angel to fallen angel. Convert. Seemingly talking to himself, and as if answering Hengsing's question, I am smiled charmingly, charming all beings. I have been researching and using it for more than two hundred years since then, and it was not until not long ago that I completely dug this form to the end. After the end, this devil fruit is either exhausted or has other potentials. The premise is to defeat you. Now, you can call me the fallen angel I am, or the holy angel I am, because, since I defeated the demon in my body, I'm no longer a pure artificial human. The black and red flames rolled, Yimu smiled charmingly, his amber eyes turned red, making Hengsing's scalp tingle. Tisk tisk. In this world, the devil fruit can be developed to such an extent, it is estimated that you are the old monster who has lived for a long time. Others are so poor that they will wake up at most. You are able to develop devil fruit to this point, not because you are smarter than others, but because you live longer than others. Hengsing sneered and attacked without hesitation. It doesn't matter. Living is everything, isn't it? When I defeat you, the existence of your new government will also be wiped out by the world government, and you will become a sinful pirate through the ages, written into the history of the world government, and reviled by the world. Quote. With a flick of the body, Yimu held a scarlet spear and pulled out a spear flower. The sixteens of black wings spread out from behind, like a stream of red light, and suddenly rushed towards Hengsing. Your strength ranks in the forefront of all the strong people I have seen. But, that's it. With a murmur, the six paths scepter in the hand tapped lightly in the air. Advertisement. Hum. Invisible ripples erupted from Hengsing's body, and black thunder and lightning radiated from Hengsing's body, instantly becoming densely packed, turning into a sea of thunder. There are three paths of electric arc, thunder dragon, unicorn, and thunder phoenix, which are composed of thunder and lightning. These three kinds of thunder beasts, each of which has a thunderbolt of tens of billions of volts, and the space where it passes is violently distorted, and it can't bear the appearance of the three at all. Hengsing smiled, although Yimu is an artificial person and does not conduct electricity, but there must be a limit. Just like rubber, it does not conduct electricity, but a billion volts. Ten billion volts, there is always a limit, beyond the limit, I am afraid that it will turn into ashes in an instant. I said it, this state is my most suitable state for fighting, it is also the most suitable state for killing. I am sneered and said word by word, I am not conductive. However, for the first time this form appears in the world, let's show you the power of this form. Stubbornly, I am shouted, death dance. Holding the red bear sword, Aim's graceful body began to spin back and forth in midair. At the same time, the ripples of black and red flames blasted towards Hengsing's three thunder beasts. The three collided, and the three thunder beasts began to devour the black and red flames in front of them. Hengsing's thoughts moved, and the surging air waves began to gather around him. This is, the feeling of danger. A throbbing came from Hengsing, Rinnegan's ripple spun, the black and white three-dimensional world emerged, the footsteps jumped a few times, and Hengsing's figure disappeared in an instant. During the glory days, a huge black beam of light erupted from the six pairs of wings, rushing towards the lightning-style tailed beast bomb. Advertisement. And the collision of the three is not as earth-shattering as before, on the contrary, it is extremely silent, moisturizing things silently, but the danger is exponentially higher than before. Like a blood-soaked rakshasa, crazy. The sky is impoverished as if it was wiped by a scavenger, and the invisible pressure on the sea below is like a crescent moon, causing a huge crescent ditch spanning 100 meters across the sea. The densely packed thunder attribute tailed beast bomb gallops towards the front-rushing I am. Call out. When it reappeared, it was already in the place where I am just now. There was a trace of cracks in the black-red armor, but it was not completely broken. The fair skin was full of small scratches, and blue blood was coming out of it. This is what you want to come in by yourself. Don't blame me. The corners of his mouth twitched, the black pleading for the path was a little in the air, and the surrounding thunder sea began to heal. This black spot is nothing else, but a space black hole that has shrunk countless times. During the change of air waves, Hengsing's whole body turned bloody red. It is the last gate of eight inner gates. Dead gate. The scarlet eyes looked at Hengsing calmly, and the cold eyes no longer had the charming and enchanting color just now. The radius of thousands of miles has become a restricted area, and everything that wants to pass will be squeezed into powder by the invisible aftermath of the collision between the two, even if it is the strongest in this world, Admiral is not an exaggeration. The moment he appeared, the six pairs of black wings on the back are weakly scattered, the blood on the wings is filled with blood, and the feathers are falling downward in large quantities, as if they are about to fall off completely. The Battle of Rules, the Battle of Heaven, Admiral Ants. Advertisement. With a thought, tailed beast bombs with thunder attribute chakra appear in front of Hengsing like raindrops. During the turmoil in the world, the wave of terror began to dissipate. With a wave of Hengsing's right hand, a blast of wind emerged, blowing away the smoke shrouded in it, revealing the shadowy figure inside. Destruction. Magic light, seductively shouted. A huge roar erupted from inside, followed by a huge mushroom cloud. Hum. After seeing the three thunder beasts dissipate, the black and red flames around Yimu's body erupted three feet, turning into a flame barrier, and while waving the spear, one after another flame slashes were sent out from above, forcibly blasting the thunder sea of Hengsing, the way. Six pairs of wings protect the front body, and black streamers flow from the black wings. Every time it is swallowed, the light on the thunder beast will dim a little bit, and there will be a star-like small black spot behind the three without a step forward. Go. Yimu's rotation speed increased, and the black and red flames turned into death ripples also appeared faster. Waves of ripples finally destroyed Hengsing's three thunder beasts and turned them into nothingness before they reached the 100 meter range of Yimu, and were swallowed by the black holes around him. You are the first person who made me want to kill so much. A charming voice came, and black and red flames shrouded the sky, and the small wounds on Aim's body healed at a speed visible to the naked eye. 
Then came the terrifying air waves that destroyed the sky and the earth, covering a range of up to a kilometer. Looking down from the sky, it looks like a person has cut the sea in half. To each other, to each other, it's a pity, this didn't kill you, you can only use that trick, really, with a sneer, he complained. Eight inner gates, open, chapter 519, previous chapter. Next chapter, advertisement. The blood waves rolled, and the invisible coercion turned into a rolling river, coercing the ocean with a radius of 10,000 meters. I am feeling the sudden surge of pressure several times, his pretty face froze, and his body was tender for a while, and his aura exploded wildly without any hesitation. Resist the mighty power of Hengsing. What a pity, with the eight inner gates fully open, Hengsing's strength is no longer on the same level as I am. Although her aura was strong, it was not a little bit worse than Hengsing's. The moment the two collided, Hengsing's pressure swept down with an absolute advantage. In an instant, before Yimu could make a move, he was shrouded in the ocean-like coercion of Wang Yang in front of him. In the past, the coercion between the two was evenly divided, but she didn't feel anything. But now, as Hengsing finally erupted, the pressure was like a hundred and ten giant mountains pressing down on him, and the air around him seemed to be filled with mercury, which was extremely heavy. In such a battle, she can only exert eighty percent of her combat power at most, and the remaining twenty percent is to resist the ubiquitous coercion around her body. How is it possible? How can this guy have such a powerful strength? If so, why didn't he take it out in the first place? Just as Yimu's pretty face was sullen, the mercury-like pressure around him suddenly lightened. Not far away, Hengsing's hair was flying, his clothes were rustling, and he was surrounded by red air waves, looking at her with indifference. Not at first, it's because I don't know what your strength is, whether it's worth my effort. Now, I'm sure, you are worth my effort. Then, get ready, I hope you don't get destroyed by my first attack, murmured. In the next moment, Hengsing appeared like a red meteor, dragging a long tail of flames in front of Yimu in an instant. Shishong, one foot, with a light drink, Hengsing threw his fist, and the punch hit Yimu's soft abdomen. At the same time, a huge beam of air burst out with Hengsing's punch. I am not coming back to his senses at all, he was taken away by this air beam and flew into the distance, disappearing from Hengsing's sight in the blink of an eye. Call out, the figure flashed, followed by Hengsing, who appeared behind I am like a teleport. At this time, I am was bombarded by the air beam and was trying his best to break free. Advertisement. An indifferent voice came from behind, making I'm's hair stand on end. Two feet, the long legs swept away, and another long column of air appeared again, bombarding I am on the back. Afterwards, without waiting for Yimu's reaction, Hengsing moved around, shouted loudly, and moved his feet non-stop, and then raised three air beams. Three feet, furious, wuzu, front, back, left, right, and up, five air beams bombarded Yimu directly, even when Yimu was completely unobstructed. Click, click, under the condition that the naked eye can see, the black and red armor on Aim's body has cracks. Even his perfect body has been damaged to varying degrees. Boom, a voice that shocked the entire sea sounded around, and a monstrous mushroom cloud filled the sky and enveloped the entire sky. Aftermath bursts, spread thousands of miles. The monstrous waves on the sea roared and turned into giant beasts that devoured all the gluttonous beasts. It seemed to turn the world upside down and reproduce chaos. After a few minutes, the power diminished and the dust in the sky gradually dissipated. Hengsing opened his mouth and sprayed, and a strong wind appeared. The dust that filled Yimu's surroundings immediately dissipated without a shadow, revealing the scarred figure inside. The black and red armor was shattered, blue blood flowed across the body, and the white abdomen was directly sunken, revealing the unknown metal inside. The white human skin on the charming left face is cracked and floating outside, and the metal inside is clearly visible. The jade body is clear, Hengsing has no desire, a robot, not a real human. Yimu looked at Hengsing with no expression on his face, the black and red flames rolled, and the injuries on his body began to recover quickly, and they recovered as before in the blink of an eye. Advertisement. The skin is fair, pink and tender like a girl, and it seems to be able to squeeze out the water. With a flick of his hand, black and red flames lingered, and the broken armor reappeared all over his body. Scarlet eyes stared at Hengsing, his face was frosty, extremely cold, so many years. You are the first, the first person to make me look like this. Not just the first one, it's the one who killed you. With an indifferent voice, Hengsing's air waves rolled like a sea. As soon as the footsteps were stepped, the atmosphere roared, and the figure appeared in front of Yimu again like a teleportation. It's this trick again, Yimu frowned and snorted coldly. The black and red flame swayed and turned into a shield to protect the whole body. The colorful light flickered, and a dazzling halo erupted from Yimu's body. After a while, the holy seraphim appeared in Hengsing's sight. Circles of invisible ripples emanated from the two sides, and the terrifying fluctuations shook the entire sea, the space was distorted, the seawater poured back, and abnormal phenomena appeared. The chest to the abdomen is directly sunken, and the entire abdomen is pierced, revealing a shape, that is the shoe mark of Hengsing's shoe print. This scene is truly a disaster. The indifferent voice came out, and Hengsing's right foot kicked fiercely on the black and red flame shield in front of him. The scarlet tiger threw I am, into the sea below, one after another colorful ripples filled the body, gathered, and covered the entire sky in an instant. It is very beautiful. Boom, thousands of giant waves rolled out one after another, rushing in all directions, and the surrounding seawater dropped a little with the power visible to the naked eye. During the roar, it slammed into the giant flame shield in front of it. The entire sea seemed to be thrown into a nuclear weapon, the sea rolled violently, and a huge vortex spanning a thousand meters emerged out of thin air. Damn it, I've decided, it's death, I'll pull you too, there was a trace of resentment in the scarlet eyes. Healing, he said coldly, advertisement. The red blood tiger roared, lifelike, light coming out of hell. Lifting his foot, the whole person kicked towards Yimu like a meteorite, the airwaves around him rolled and compressed, and a huge blood-colored tiger appeared on Hengsing's feet. At the same time, the terrifying momentum erupted like a mountain and sea. Goodbye, I don't want to fight anymore, sneered. A tiger roared, shocking the universe. The flame shield that was guarding Yimu's side exploded directly. Roar, the only good thing is that the island is a deserted island, no one lives, otherwise, the casualties will be great. Day tiger, with a loud roar, the surrounding red air waves gathered in front of Hengsing, filling the air. Ein's whole body was wrapped in colorful light, and he began to repair his injured body automatically. The air waves erupted in terror all over Hengsing, like a volcanic eruption, and the rolling torrent directly washed away the colorful ripples in the air. With such a serious injury, if it weren't for Yimu being an artificial human, I'm afraid that ordinary injuries like this would have made you unable to survive. Product, call out, the island not far away was directly submerged by the monstrous waves, and the huge island fell directly into the sea as the waves rolled. Hengsing's figure also followed this roar, and quickly ran towards Yimu, the blood-colored aura filled the air, and a terrifying red beast shadow surrounded Hengsing's body. On the delicate and fair facial features, there are dissatisfaction with cracks, and the coquettish red lips are directly peeled, revealing the metal inside. 
Hum, roar, it's useless. In the face of absolute strength, everything you use is in vain. With a sluggish breath, the embarrassed figure flew out of the sea, the battle armor burst, the blue electric arc flashed on the body, and the sixteens of wings behind it had become two pairs. Chapter 520. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At the moment of its appearance, people in the entire sea felt inexplicably panic in their hearts, as if something was pressing on them. The swimming fish on the seabed is even more direct and hurriedly walks, even the 10,000 meter sea kings are no exception, swimming frantically toward the outside, they sense the danger. Ultimate danger. At the same time, the opposite Mimu has also set up a posture, the colorful rays of light converge, and a huge halo of money emerges. It is better to say that the halo is like a huge round door. It's over. X2. Hengsing and I am looked at each other and said indifferently. Night guy, holy light, sanction. The colorful halo is released, and the huge colorful light turns into an impact and burst out from the inside. Hengsing didn't dare to show weakness, he kicked his right foot fiercely, the space collapsed, destroying all the blue dragons galloping up. Boom. A sound resounded throughout the sea, and the islands in the entire sea were shaking violently. A dazzling white light above the ultimate blocks the sun and fills the entire sky. People all over the sea can see this white light. It is not an exaggeration to say that everything is white. North Blue, in a town, at this time, it was about 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock, which was the rest time after work in the morning. Some people were on the street, chatting casually and bragging. The topic of Hengsing and the rules he made were inseparable from the words, and there was even a look of longing in his eyes. Suddenly, a swaying shaking sounded, and the unprepared person fell directly to the ground. What's the situation? Why is there a sudden earthquake? Our island has never had an earthquake. What's going on? My heart is so boring and uncomfortable. How about you? Me too. Look, the sky. A middle-aged man wearing glasses said in horror. What's wrong? The yellow-haired middle-aged man didn't care, but when he looked up, his pupils shrank for a while, and his face was pale. What's going on? How could this be? This is, a vision that has not been seen in thousands of years. Is disaster coming? This scene appears on every island in the sea. The only difference is that the tough ones know what that is. Like Clute and Rayleigh. Are those two guys really human? This terrifying aftermath. How many people will be killed? Seeing this, Rayleigh, who has been across the sea for many years, has a trace of panic in his eyes. The last battle, isn't it scary? But I really didn't expect that Brother Hengsing's strength is so powerful, and it is to this level with the background of the world government. Shaki sighed with emotion. Yeah, no one thought of it. The fate of the sea is decided, and the old and new regimes will change. Just wait, the result will come out soon. I'm really looking forward to it. Naval headquarters, Marine Fort, the two sides who were fighting looked at the white light in the distance invariably, and even the action of fighting was slowed down unconsciously. Oh, it should be the result of the battle between the captain and the woman named I am. Redfield said with a smile. I really didn't expect that the captain's strength would be so strong, and I didn't expect that the background of world government would be so strong. Yi smiled and sighed with emotion. The captain is already very strong, but, I never thought that the master behind the world government was a woman, and those five old guys knelt down on a woman's knees, what a shame. Bullet scoffed disdainfully. Humph, when Lord Yimu defeats you Hengsing pirates, this rebellion will end here. The blonde old man said gloomily. Master Yimu's strength has exceeded the limit of the strength of the entire sea. If you have to say, Lord Yimu's strength can easily kill Whitebeard at his peak. Your captain has no chance of winning. The old man with a beard sneered. Cut, who wouldn't blow a big talk? Would it take so long to be so bullish before the battle? Peggy said with disdain. Dot 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 dot. High in the sky, white light illuminates the heavens, and after a long time, the sky gradually returns to normal. A figure stood proudly in the air, his clothes were a little broken, but he was full of energy. Advertisement. This man is none other. It's Hengsing. As for the opposite Nemo, he was directly turned into an obliterated powder under the attack of the night guy, and the dead can no longer die. High in the sky, Hengsing exhaled a long breath, who? It's over at last, the whole sea ends here. When the words fell, the blood-colored ore disappeared from his body, Rinnegan's ripples spread out, and his figure disappeared in a flash. Naval headquarters, looking at the sky that has been restored to its original state, the two sides have completely stopped fighting at this time, because seeing the battle between Hengsing and Nemo, they have already understood that the outcome of this duel is not theirs, but their boss. No matter which side of them wins, the bosses of both sides have the ability to sweep the other side's entire team. As soon as the ultimate white light appears in the sky, they will stop fighting and wait for the return of the two bosses. Who wins? Who is the final winner? While everyone was waiting anxiously, Hengsing appeared in front of Redfield wearing a truth seeking ball shirt. As the battle not over yet, are you, Captain? Yi smiled hesitantly looking at Hengsing. It's me. Hengsing smiled slightly. Are you Hengsing? What about our Lord Yimu? Before waiting for the others to speak, the irritable blonde old man asked first. What do you say? You killed her. The sword wielding old man hesitated, then shook his head frantically. Impossible. Impossible. How could Lord Yimu die? She is. Humanoid. Right. Hengsing returned first. An artificial man is a high level machine in the final analysis, and it will be destroyed into nothingness. Do you think she can still do it? Impossible. Impossible. How could Mr. Yimu lose? She is very strong. Even if the five of us joined forces, we couldn't hold on to her for ten seconds. How could it be possible? Believe in everything in front of you. What a pity. The truth is as you can see. I'm back. She's dead. In return, you go with her too. Be her servant in hell. With a wave of his hand, dense thunderbolts erupted from Hengsing's body, each of which was as high as tens of billions of volts. Appearing in front of the top officials of the world government like a teleportation, before they reacted at all, they were swallowed up by lightning and turned into powder, not even bones. Looking at Hengsing's powerful strength, all the executives in the room took a deep breath. Even if they knew that Hengsing was strong, they didn't expect it to be so strong. It is not an exaggeration to call him a god, let alone a human being, to be able to destroy all the high-level officials of the world government in an instant. Hengsing can wipe out the world government instantly, in other words, even everyone present can wipe it out with ease. Could it be, Hengsing boss is a god, Hengsing Pejuan thought so. Is this the strength of the captain? It's terrifying. As the five elders said, our strength and the captain and I am are like ants. A smile exclaimed in shock. Yeah, the happiest thing in my life is to join the captain pirates. Bullet also sighed. Other cadres also spoke up, and the scene was extremely harmonious. Okay, taking advantage of the present opportunity and leaving some people behind, we will invade the world government and build our own empire. Oh, everyone shouted in unison, and immediately left to guard naval headquarters with a smile, while Hengsing led the others to attack the world government headquarters, Maria Joy. The world government's high-end combat power, including Yimu, has been destroyed by Hengsing, leaving only a few small fish and shrimp, and they can't resist the attack of Hengsing and others. It didn't take long for the world government to be completely captured by Hengsing and others, and even the national flag was replaced with their own. 
A day later, through the newspapers of Morgan's and naval headquarters, the whole world of the change of state spread across the sea. The whole world is talking frantically, even directly shocked, crazy, and some people don't believe it, as the news spreads more and more widely, even after the video was released. The whole sea exploded with a bang, and there were discussions everywhere. There were many cheers this time, after all, Hang Seng's benefits were really good. Grand Line, a scenic island, red-haired and others were lost watching the Seagull's newspaper. As the world government defeated, now it's Hang Seng's world, Shanks asked in disbelief. Can't be wrong, this photo was taken by Hang Seng at the world government headquarters, it can't be fake, Beckman sighed. I'm afraid our feud will be in vain, we will even live incognito in the future, Yusuf said bitterly. It's over, the whole sea is Hang Seng's world, they can't take revenge, and they may be pursued by Hang Seng as soon as they show up. After all, Hang Seng now represents the official, it's the righteous side. As for right or wrong, history is always written by the victors, they are just a bunch of losers. Dot 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 dot. Windmill Village, Advertisement. Magino waited for a while, looking at the newspaper in his hand, and was unable to speak for a long time. Village, Mayor, is the newspaper true? Magino whispered after a long time. It's true, now the whole sea has spread, it's crazy, there will be no fakes, I really didn't expect that kid to do such a great thing. While the two of them were talking, Xiao Nan rushed over with a newspaper, her bright little eyes full of excitement, Sister Magino. There is news about Brother Hang Seng. Take the world government. It's amazing. Yes, our life will be better in the future. Magino said with a smile while touching Xiao Nan's head. Dot 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 dot. World government. No, now it should be called the new government. Hang Seng sat in the luxurious hall and said calmly. The celestial dragons have all been killed. In the future, there will be no nobles in this world, only ordinary people. And killing people should be done according to the rules we made. Yes, Marshal, what about the pirates in the sea? Katakori said. A well-behaved collection. A wicked one just killed. We can't be as merciful as Marine. A man who kills without blinking an eye is sent to impel down. Clear, you can do it as you please. Also, bring the kings of all the countries on the sea and talk to them. Marshal, you don't need to convene. These countries have rushed here since they heard the news. After all, these people are high above the ground, and their lives are precious. Bullet sneered. Okay, is there anything else to say? What about those marines? Jin said. Release, those who can be included. Those who cannot be included are sent to impel down, so that they can retire and impel down in the future. As for Sengoku and the others, follow Gart directly to the windmill village to retire. The age is not too young. It's the retirement age. Understood. In the next few days, there were cheers on the sea, because Hang Seng pulled out the celestial dragons one by one and executed them in front of all the people in the world and all the slaves stored in the world government will be released, and the slave treaty will be abolished by the way. In the future, everyone in this world will be equal, and there will be no slaves. Otherwise, you can directly report to Hang Seng's official and others. For a time, Hang Seng and other new world reputation skyrocketed. One month later, the kings of all the kingdoms on the sea rushed to Hang Seng from all over the country, swearing, kneeling and licking. For these occasions, Hang Seng didn't like it very much, so he handed it over to Yi Xiao and others, and he sat quietly in the seat where I am used to. In the icy hall, it was extremely quiet. This should be what people call the height of the cold. He can now feel the mood of Yimu. Before you know it, a year has passed by. During this year, Hang Seng issued the regulations of the previous world one after another, and won the love of all the people of the sea. The pirates in the whole sea follow Hang Seng's instructions, and in one year, fewer and fewer pirates go out to sea. As for Luffy at all, Hang Seng directly enacts an adventurer. In the future, they can continue to wreak havoc at sea, of course, on the premise that they cannot do illegal things. Click, the heavy iron door is pushed open. A smile and category come in from outside. After the two came, they were silent, as if there was something unspeakable. You look at me, I look at you, no one said anything. What happened? Just say anything. Hang Seng smiled helplessly. A country can't be without an owner for a day, and it can't be without a future. Although you already have a wife, but there are too few. So we discussed it and wanted to find a few for you, said with a smile here, the face is embarrassed. Woman, Katakori answered flatly, then grabbed the box from Yixiao's hand, and flashed his figure in front of Hengseng, placing it in front of him. There are pictures of all the beauties in the world, which one you like, we'll propose a marriage to you. After he finished speaking, he turned around and returned to the face of a smile. Got it, you guys leave first, understood. After the two finished speaking, they turned to leave, leaving only Hengseng in the hall. Hum, ripples in the space appeared, Kegai walked out of it, sat directly on Hengseng's lap, opened the box in front of him, and looked at the women in the photo one by one. Advertisement. Robin, Nami, Hancock, Shirahoshi, Reiju, Weiwei, Rebecca. All kinds of women have everything. Yeah, not bad. Who kun? Take all these people, just to make up for your emptiness when your concubine is not in time. Kegaya pondered. No, so many people. You think my body is made of iron. Hengseng smiled bitterly. This place has settled down. It's time for us to leave. Are you leaving again? Kegaya is a little sad. Hum, leave and go back to my original world. Your world. Right, okay then. Before you leave, go somewhere first. Dot 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 dot. Windmill Village, under the beautiful forest, Sengoku and Slap played chess, which was invented by Hengseng a year after his reign, and was deeply loved by the elderly. Especially the elderly like Sengoku, who are doing nothing to retire here, can't stop. Magino Tavern, Xiaonan and Magino cleaned up some sundries in the tavern. In the more than a year she has been here, she has gradually integrated into the place, and even the village affairs have gradually been forgotten. There are not many children in the village, so Xiaonan is very popular in the village, and even the smile on his face has become more and more unwittingly this year. Just then, the small door of the tavern was pushed open, and a gentle voice came, Boss, here's a rum. Okay, please wait a moment, guests, Magino subconsciously said, and when he walked into the bar, he subconsciously explained when he saw Hang Seng's face. What, Sister Magino, what's wrong with you, Xiao Nan said anxiously. You, look who's here, Magino covered his mouth and pointed to the front with his jade hand. Xiao Nan turned her head, with surprise in her bright eyes, her chubby little face was gradually replaced by joy. He rushed towards Hang Seng with a squeak, sticking to Hang Seng like an octopus. Hang Seng just now, you are finally back, yeah, I'm back, Hang Seng patted Xiao Nan's back and said softly. I'm relieved to see that you're doing well here. Yes, Sister Magino is very kind to me. Everyone in the village is also very kind to me, Xiao Nan said happily. That's it, Brother Hengseng, are you leaving? No, stay here for a while. Oh, it's great, jumping and dancing, dancing with siblings. Three months passed in the blink of an eye, and after leaving Xiao Nan Magino and others, Hengseng returned to the icy hall again. 
A month later, after explaining something to Yi Xiao and others, Heng Xing looked at the empty hall and murmured, the end is just a new beginning. System. Leave. Hum. A touch of brilliance erupted from Heng Xing. The light is dazzling and bright like a pearl. After a while, Wa Guang converged, and Heng Xing disappeared in place. At the same time, in the 10,000 meter deep sea where Heng Xing and Yimu were fighting, a broken eye looked up, and no creatures could approach within a one meter radius. If someone came here and looked closely, they would be amazed, because the eye is slowly repairing itself, albeit at a very small rate. Maybe it will be completely repaired in a hundred years, but in the next instant, the whole sea seems to stand still and freeze. Not only that, everyone, things, things, everything is like this, the whole pirate world seems to be frozen by time and space with great mana, just like the Hokage world. If Heng Xing hadn't come back, the world would always be like this. 